See if I have everything set up. I'm gonna share my screen of your screen. All right. So, uh, where's where do I get the link for this? All right. So while I figure this out, so I can link it. Uh, so it's been a week now. How how uh, reflect how how you guys feel and now they've had a week to digest Snoop. All I can say is that I like Trish. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I, have, I have concerns about Trish. I have uh, I I really like Snoot. Uh, not Snoot. Uh, <laughs> I, I like Snoot. Her, I mean, who, who doesn't Snoot. love Snoot? I, I really like Fang. Yeah. I had a negative opinion of her at first uh, because she just seemed like a total bitch to her brother and just generally the whole I'm binary. You can't fucking call me a she, even though I dressed like I I I, I thought I mean, she was really fucking bratty at first, but. As you get to know her, she, you know, you do kind of get understanding on her side, and her, her hatred of her brother seems entirely based on misunderstandings of him trying to help her, but he's an idiot and the shit goes sideways. Or, uh, I like. Oh, sorry, you go. I was just gonna say we don't we don't know that yet. I mean, he could be actually an asshole dude. I mean, just from what I, what we experienced, I get. Yeah. Last time I had said I think there is a chance that Naomi could be. Having some neg uh, hidden negative traits, like the Anon's pretty, uh, seems to be judging her as being very plastic and very fake. So I think she's really cheery. I really like Naomi. I think everyone's really way too fucking hard on Naomi. She does nothing to try yeah, to. Yeah, I feel like if there was some secret bitchiness to her, then the story wouldn't be so upfront with how much the main character hates her. Yeah, because then I'd be like way, it'd be telegraphing it too hard. Like, yeah. I, I, I just suspect there is still at least a possibility Naomi is hiding something and she could be meaner than she lets on. But I don't get that uh, impression from Mazer. The boys in this game, like, uh, the girls are all really kind of, I said last time, the girls are kind of complex, hard to read, and I have very complex feelings on each of them. The boys are just generally bro tier. All good assessments. All good assessments. All I have to say is Trish is there. Trish, there's nothing wrong with Trish. Now, Trish, I, I get the feeling that Trish might be uh, a negative influence on Fang. I get the feeling she's true. very, she uh, she might be very codependent, and she seems very yeah, she has guilt wieldy. She like likes to try yeah. to guilt Fang into, hey, we agreed that we were going to have two bassists, and not really listening to her concerns. And generally, like I think, just kind of. Not being a crutch, but like a crutch where she wants to be a crutch so that way Fang only relies on her. Yeah, no, you're Fang. right. So I do have that's definitely got the whole lesbo crush going on, but you know, it's hard. It's just, it's just kind of hard to tell how healthy of a relationship. It's it an is. easy. It's an easy fix. Just go out with her, and then she's not a problem. Just, just, just give all the girls a good dicking. Is all you have to do, and on. Not. That's meant. all. That's how you. That's how you solve all this. So with all the analysis out of the way, let's begin. Uh... Last time we had just uh, yeah, okay, snuck yeah. in on Fang's phone. I remember that specifically. That was the last thing that happened is that we had sneaked on uh, Fang's phone because Anon has a secret, and a, I think that's interesting. I don't know what he's hiding. It's interesting when the main character... Well, I mean, obviously, was he was just trying to hide the fact that he was laughing at them. Yeah, he does. Oh, at, the, at the play, yeah. That's, yeah, that re people. remember, yeah. He, he saw Trish tackling people and having a crowbar that's totally unrelated to other people like that. So. Alright. Snooter Gamers. Yep, that's us. Hey, PB Pixel. Yo. PB Pixel. Alright. All right. Ain't a butter pixel. It's been a couple of days since I snooped on Fang's phone. I snooted on Fang's phone. <laughs> A couple days since I snooted that phone. The guilt still weighs on me, but I found a way to cope with it. Even more aggressive shit posting on a Hungarian steak sampling vlog site. I feel like I understand people on 4chan more now. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the thing you have to understand about 4chan is that no one is as big of an idiot as they are pretending to be. Or, I mean, hopefully, hopefully no one is. People love being. Lo people just love to pretend to be stupid on the internet. It's a. It's a primal feeling. And I would be enjoying my day by myself in my apartment, playing games of chip posting. It's Saturday after all. Except 
I'm walking to school. Fuck my life. Fuck as, my wife? As it turns out, the school keeps a log of what the Wi-Fi bandwidth goes to. And the IT guy probably wasn't too thrilled to see I've been using it to download the entire Saturnia, Saturnia collection. Saturnia. Saturnia, there, that sounds better. Spear sentenced me to one week campus beautification for using taxpayer money on a few dozen gigs of videos. That's a lot. I mean, is it? Yeah. Well, now I know to space the torrenting out a bit more. Or just don't do it at school, there's no uh, reason to. That's about the carbon footprint of an elephant. As I get closer to the dreaded building, the, the more the thought of ditching crosses my mind. But then, the thought of Principal Spears pops up, and violently pile drives it into a Prius. Weird thought, but enough to discourage me from ditching. So here I am now walking to the side and where the gardens of the school are. I can see the others are here as well. Probably all for detention too. Wait Except a sec. Oh. Wait, what? I was, I was expecting a Yomi. Oh. Wait a sec. Isn't that Fang? Why is she talking to that green weirdo from before? Green weirdo. Oh. Wait another sec. Are they getting closer? No, I am. Why did I walk up to them? Seeing Fang only makes the guilt more intense. I cast my gaze aside instead. The flower bulbs are still closed for the winter, but a few are peeking out. Uh, okay, we have a new character. Uh, let's see here. Who wants to be I... the Latina Ankylosaur? I think she is? I don't know. Uh, don't think that's an Ankylosaur. An Ankylosaur would have a club. It looks like some sort of the more, like the horned dinosaurs that isn't a Triceratops that I know less about. Track. Oh, fucking good. I used to know dinosaurs. Oh, who voiced, who, who voiced the green one before? I did. I did my Maya voice, didn't I? Oh, yeah, uh, you did. In that case, I'll try to take her, but she's a she's a spicy Latina. Yes. Kaz can do it. Yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah. do you want me to? Or you want to try it? Yeah, you guys do it. Oh my! I see you are admiring our work. The gardening club takes much pride in our flowers. Ah shit! For such a large girl, she's surprisingly stealthy. I'm so stealthy. <laughs> and that would be Stella again. So you, Timber. Pinkle. Good morning, Riley. Ready for today? It is a beautiful day for gardening, isn't it? Uh, you, you want to be here? Did the audio settings reset, perhaps? Uh, I turned the music up a tiny tad. Why? Oh, no, it was just the music was really loud. I only turned it up like maybe like five percent. Maybe I maybe I just had the stream turned down last time we played. Possibly, because I did have the music pretty loud last time when we started. It's okay. also I like tacos and burritos. Rose is the head of a gardening club, you idiot. Judging by Fang's tone, she has been through this kind of detention multiple times already. <laughs> oh, does he wish to join our club? Is that why he's here? Oh, Stella, we have a new member. Oh, wonderful. My eyes are drawn to the green Stego, whom I immediately recognize from that encounter with the cards. Hey, you're that weird Stego from the other day. Her smile falters ever so slightly. Did I get the wrong person? Also, that's just kind of, you know, uh, it, that sounds like, hey, you're that weird Mexican from the other day, or hey, you're that weird Chinese kid from the other day. <laughs> I feel like Stego, our dinosaur type, is probably a little more frequently uh, referenced than race. Yeah, I guess that could also be. It's like there's also there's also a, a, a species. There are multiple species with sentience here, so it's like calling yeah. anonic human isn't weird. Yeah. Also, it, it has just occurred to me that Fang has six limbs. 
Uh, yeah, the the two arms and the wings. What about yeah. it? I mean, that's. I, technically, I uh, technically, she should just have four limbs like a real ter uh, pterodactyl did. Ter pterodactyls, their wings are just their arms. Yeah. But no, this, this is, is an insect that has four but, limbs. But this is, but this is, but this is Snoop game. Fuck your science. Fair enough. Nerd. <laughs> My name is Stella, and I'm not weird. Right. Solo's with the Pocket Raptor cards. I was just staying on my Terra Guidebook Talme. The, uh... Where of an astrologer is to show people what fate has in store for them. And that's what I do. Astrologer? R really? But there will always be those who aren't able to accept what their fortune tells. A, that's retarded. Two, astrology is retarded. And thirdly, that sounds like something from a bad video game. No, I, uh... Aww. Technically seven limbs, counting the tail. Oh, oh there you go. Tannis, I need tails. I mean, I guess you they're, could. It, it's, they're an appendage. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could have it like a sometimes why situation and if it's prehensile or not. I would say if the tail counts as a limb, the head should too, because the neck, the neck okay. is as flexible. Well, as I mean, the tail. technically, wouldn't the head and the tail be the same limb since it's all the spine? I mean, I was about to say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even we have tails, quote unquote. They're just inside of us. And so, therefore, I must say that... Fuck it. <laughs> that's the... Oh, that's not... I thought oh, that, that was... I, I like that pose. That's new to me. The sulky stego is pulled into a hug by the happy Hispanic girl. What? Hispanic? <laughs> You're still my friend, no matter how much of the black arts you believe. You're... Uncle Flavor Kisses for my Stella! You're one to talk about believing in black arts, Rosa. Is that a racist joke? You and your magic dino in the sky. No, it's a religion joke. Damn. Hey, Peachy Pagana! You're lucky I don't! Here! Get all your asses out for right now! The caveman's bellow reverberates through the entire school, even though I'm pretty sure he wasn't using the PA system. Not wanting to piss him off even more, I follow the others to where Principal Spears has a few of the other students gathered in front of him. The only one I recognize is the guy Trish had in a headlock that one day. Didn't expect you of all people to get detention. It takes me a moment to realize Fang is talking to me. I, uh, use too much of the school bandwidth. What, Spears catch you downloading porn in the library or something? Yeah, it would probably have been better if you said what you were downloading, honestly. That's because the natural conclusion is porn, if you don't say. <laughs> no, just, just torrenting, like, TV shows I can't get on cable. She raises an eyebrow like she doesn't believe me, but she doesn't follow it up. Probably downloading a bunch of femdom porn in the library. She must never find out about Saturnia. I'm glad you could make it, Anon. I think that's just about everyone. Not that he gave me much of a choice. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with Rosa. She'll be supervising your campus beautification today. Big word for gay friend. <laughs> if I hear bad word from her, about any of you. I think I can fill in the rest. No homo. <laughs> Spears nods to Rosa, who reminds me of Naomi with how overly happy she looks. If 
We all work hard and have a good time. We can get done before you know it. How could anyone be so enthusiastic about coming to school on the weekend? So, by the end of the day, we need to get the weeding done in the gardens, as well as replanting all the flowers, and some of the vines are ready to be duly in the back. Uh... Make sure you all get a pair of gloves and re to return them before you leave. Fang raises her hand. Fang lowers her hand. You should all pair off now to split the way evenly. Decide amongst yourselves. I wonder what Fang did then. Literally anything. <laughs> Even in detention, the partner curse haunts me. Everyone else almost immediately groups off. Leaving just me, and take a wild guess who else. I don't like how often this is happening. It seems kind of co it seems like we're on constantly being coerced into this. Can't say I'm a big fan either. Whatever. Let's just take vine trimming and get this over with. Fang starts heading to one of the ladders already set up near the wall. Wait, don't you need gloves? What? I'm not a wuss. So it's vines. So I'm gonna get my hands dirty. If you go, you go get some if you're, so, if you're so concerned about getting a few cuts, pussy. I just don't get this chick sometimes. I get a pair of gloves and some loppers. I rejoin Fang at the ladder. <laughs> loppers. Alright, cool. Give me the snippy thing. What do you call it? I don't like the idea of you with a weapon very much. She flashes an evil grin. Hold the ladder steady while I do this. I've been here a few times. This is the easiest job out of the three. If you say so. Can she fly? I don't, question. I don't think the pterodactyls can fly in this setting. Purely aesthetic choices. Which is weird, but that's, uh, I guess that makes sense, but that, that'd still be cool if they could. I mean, even if not, wings are still awesome. Fang is quick to scale the ladder, leaving me to hold it in place. I wish I could shitpost on my phone right now to distract myself, but my hands are occupied. Fang's disregard of me is made extremely clear as she carelessly lets the remnants of dead vines rain down on my head. <laughs> Kind of glad I don't have hair, because I can't imagine how bad it would be to have these kind of sticky plants tangled in it. How do you live with being both bald and poor? It's not a oh, fun wait, life. Shift the oh wait, shift the ladder over. And don't look up. But but you're still on it. I don't feel like getting down, so come on, you can't be that weak. Can't lift a single non-binary person on a ladder? Ugh, oh, whatever. I shimmy the ladder to the side. Fang's weight making the process more difficult. Uh, damn my scrawny arms. Alright, this is good. She goes back to clipping vines and dropping them on my head. It started building up on my shoulders and neck now. <laughs> and now the spots the vines have touched start to itch. Oh boy. Hey. She remains focused on the vines. Dropping the largest club directly on my face. Hey! Never mind. The follow up clump was even bigger and it lands right in my mouth. After I finish spitting out the wad of dead vegetation from my mouth, I try one last time to get her attention. Fang! Through my blurred vision, I can make out Fang's tail, slowly shifting side to side. Booty. And an evil idea comes to mind to get her attention. There's a less evil one, too. Something that'd just shock her. Uh, who? Definitely tug her tail. There's no yeah, definitely the tail. Tug the tail. Go for it. Let's do this. We're, gonna, we're, we're going balls deep. 
As I reach out to her, she drops another clump into my eyes, blinding me. I blindly grasp at her until my fingers brush against something covered in scales. I give the appendage a sharp tug. There's a shrill cry above me. That got her attention. Ah! Stop dropping shit! Suddenly, stars explode in my sight-impaired eyes, and I fall backwards. There's a ringing in my ears, and I try to blink the vines and stars away. Or an explosion? Never do that again! Do what? The fuck did I do? Fucking pervers! Baka! What the fuck did I do?! When I can finally see again, Fang has her wings drawn together behind her, and her hands clasped on something also behind her. I think I fell in the flower bed behind us. It's actually sort of soft. You pull on my fucking tail! I thought that was your ankle! Why the fuck would you think that my tail was my ankle? Because I couldn't see because you kept dropping fucking vines in my eyes! So you pull my fucking tail, you perverted fuck! You weren't listening now, now to me! Now I know what you were downloading in the library, you fucking skis bag! <laughs> you weren't listening to me while I was trying to tell you to stop! And I swear it was totally normal TV shows. We're both out of breath and staring daggers at each other. Uh, how do you make your eyes just come out of nowhere like that? It's fucking creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are still blurry, bleary and starting to itch now because of the plants. Fang is still protectively holding her tail, as if I'll pull it again. What? Why is your face all red? I was trying to tell you. These vines fucking hurt! It makes no sense at all! Oh, wait. Oh, fuck, yeah, humans don't have scales, do they? I assume they're, like, poison ivy. She tosses another discarded vine at my face. C cut that out! Ha! I could report you for allergy abuse. That's the weakest threat I've ever heard. I'm pretty sure I could report you for sexual harassment, dickweed. Actually, in general, you seem a bit milk toast around people. What gives? I start prying off some of the vines stuck to my clothes. It's like, why, why waste time with certain people, you know? It would be worth my time to do something crazy. Fang leads forward on the ladder, pretending to be hurt. Oh, where's your time? That hurts. That hurts me right where my heart beats. Some people certainly aren't. Just never meant to amount to anything or do anything important. She drops the smug expression for a second. Anyways, you should get up. Rosa will kill you if she sees you crumpled in her stupid flowers. A yell echoes from somewhere across the school grounds. <laughs> Hurry up! Run! Hang on! I try leaning up. The bush has intertwined with my clothes. I like the actual struggle movement. <laughs> I'm stuck! You actually... you actual... Rosa scrambles over and starts pulling at her hair when she sees me stuck in the bush. She points a burning finger up at Fang. Did you push him? Did you push him? Did you cause this? Fang's skin goes a shade paler. Uh, no, I fell on my own. 
Sorry. Sorry! Sorry! Lo siento! What kind of big there who manages to fall into my middle east red camellias that hard on his own? I shrug apologetically. I should kill you! <laughs> I just get out! Do you have any idea how long it takes for those to bloom? Name! What is your name? Uh, Kazu Nombre! Uh, Kazu Yamas! Kazu uh, Yamas! Anon? Anon? Ah, uh, Anon! Why are you still in there? Get up, Dino! Get up! She grabs all of my hands and- Whoa! You trying to rip my arm off? Yes! She grabs the bicep proudly. Me, I say all the time, also the work is good for your health. Uh, I think I'll just stick to stealing the occasional protein bar from Nazer's stock. Thank you very much. Also, big muscles look gross. Mm, depends. Wait! Come on! Why is your face so low? Uh, the, oh. the, uh, vines. I guess I have an allergy. She points back up to Faye. Oh, fuck, I actually knew the word for stop for Spanish, but I forget. Yo, get down from there! You're both switching to weeds! Uh, uh, oh, God. Fine. Whatever. All right. Oh, go now! It's rapido! No more tripping! Stupido! <laughs> We go exchange our equipment for weeding trowels. Once we get directed to a place in the dirt to start, Fang and I diligently continue in silence for a bit. Why did you lie earlier? Huh? That's how I kicked you. Uh... Spur of the moment, I guess. This is like the easiest way out of getting into more trouble? Sure. What do you mean, sure? Sure it was the easiest way to get out of trouble. Uh... Why did you really do it? What do you mean? You know, your reasons, your real reasons, your recta ratio? Recta ratio. Recta ratio. Fancy words out of you. Read a thesaurus. <laughs> what kind of dinosaur is that? <laughs> but I don't understand. You fucking moron. What was your motive? Why would you fucking care? Uh. I had to think about that for a moment. Why did I do that? You said something before. About how some people won't ever amount to anything. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, uh... What did you mean by that? Why the fuck is she so curious? I don't know. You'd probably think of some creep for saying this. I already think you're a creep. You couldn't possibly go any lower than I already have anticipations for you. So, nothing to lose. Fair, but fuck you regardless. You wish. Her retort is a prominent flipping of the bird. I don't know. It's like, uh, the world is too full. That is true. And there's only gonna be more people as time goes on. Eventually, we'll run out of food and resources, but culture will be too far gone to really fix anything. Fake stops digging for a moment and gives an attentive stare out of the corner of her eye. How fucking Infinity Wars of you. <laughs> <laughs> Midwits and morons have kids like crazy. The number of smart people in the world remains stagnant. Or even goes down over time. Nobody is immune to propaganda. And useful people can be indoctrinated right into the crowds. You know? Told you to sound weird. No, actually, that's... Wow. That 
It's actually exactly how I feel about things. She what? Faye is acting strangely enthusiastic all of a sudden. Yeah, right, like, in all of history, if you really look at it, the smart people have never even once had to, an to answer to the excess. Back in the day, innovation was propelled by smart people working with other smart people. Trying all sorts of new things the masses would have hated. Like, rock music, right? <laughs> people always hated that at first. That's true. And when my band takes off, I'll get to rub it in everyone's faces. All those cock goblins. It's like anywhere you go, there's a hundred dumb people for one person worth anything. Goblins. What'd you call it before? Excess? Yeah, like Naomi. Right. Most people in the school, even. I can see it. Maybe Reed? Not sure. Huh? Rose and St Rosa and Stella, definitely. What the? Nazer too, unfortunately, but fuck oh well. All of them sheeple. To casually brush everyone aside like that. What does she think of me, then? If you think so little of Rosa and Stella and everyone, why hang out with them? Oh, hey, Tori, how you doing? Yeah, we're, we're a little earlier stream today. Hope you enjoy. Who's Tori? Tori Wilson. I don't like being alone. You don't need to know anymore. As long as they aren't the sort of people that showed up that day at our fucking concert. Those lazy, talentless, inconsiderate, self-righteous, condescending excuses for peers thinking they can just make fun of our music. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Those guys sucked. Their insults were even that creative. Jesus Christ! Fag's arm jerks back violently, pulling a bundle of weeds and topsoil out and onto my jacket. Hey! What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, that's the stupidest comment. This is a nun we're talking about. Although, he could easily say he wasn't laughing. I mean... Her he eye... just fucked up. He just fucked up and admitted he was there. Her eye scrutinized me thoroughly. But why? Oh. Oh, shit. My foot tastes a bit like salad like today. Damn gardening. Uh, just gossip I heard from classmates afterwards? We both know that's a lie. I feel anxious as Faye continues watching me. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe I turned the audio up too much. How's it sounding in the stream? Oh. I mean, I have it turned down a little bit now, so I'm good. I think it sounds okay to me. Alright. Might just be my, uh, my own audio being high. I feel anxious as Fang continues watching me. I watch it happen, as if in slow motion, as comprehension dawns on Fang. Her voice is low. Accusatory. You were at the show? My heart stops. There it is. I couldn't have hoped to hide it forever. Fang stands over me, her wings spread wide and her shoulders shaking. I... How do I explain this? We're close enough friends now, right? I could probably even joke about it a bit. I mean, what the hell is he supposed to... Joking is a good, uh, explain it to her honesty, she should understand by now. You know, normally I would like to play Anon as a cocky asshole, but I feel like this is a very tender moment for a very egotistical girl that we shouldn't poke too hard on. I would say explain it to her honestly. What do you think, Timber? 
ankle. I mean, I don't understand what he even means by joking. So, like, what joke could there to be? be yeah, this is like it's like one of those dialogue options where like joking is a good way to move past mistakes. Okay, like what kind of joke are you gonna tell? Because there's yeah. a wide variety of options for that. Uh, I would still say explain to her honestly. Yeah. I'm curious about joking. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. If, yeah. Let's go honest. Let's be genuine for a moment. All right. Audio sounds all good? Okay, nice, thanks. I guess honesty is the best policy. Well, Nazer did invite me to your concert, and I did end up going. Fang's expression hardens, and she crosses her arms. He told me there'd be free food, so I figured why not? It's not like I knew it was going to end up the way it did. Why did you tell us you didn't go? Because I kept seeing your psycho friend hunting down everyone else who went. Why would I make myself a target? Rich was only looking for the dicks who... Did you laugh at us too? She jabs an accusatory finger at me. Fang, I... Did. You. Laugh. I open my mouth to answer, but the words aren't coming to me. Fang seems to pick up on my inability to answer. I fucking do it. Look, Fang, I'm sorry, right? I didn't know. I can't believe you right now! Fang begins to storm off, and I try to chase after her. Fang, wait! But my self-defeating clumsiness seems to have a different plan, and my foot catches on the pile of discarded gardening tools. I mean, all you guys... I think that was stupid. <laughs> all you gotta do is what? I was gonna say, all you gotta do is just say that you didn't want to talk about it because it was a really fucking embarrassing moment for her, so like, why would he want to talk about it? Like, better to just let her you know deal with, you know, just, uh, just move past it. He didn't want yeah. to bring up no Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The world spins and I land on my ass where, where we were weeding. At least something broke my fall. Wait. Isn't this a flower bed? Oh Suddenly, an orange terror descends upon me like I set off some sort of alarm. I jump to my feet and quickly inspect the damage. The entire section of flower bed where I had landed was imprinted with my outline like a snow angel. Just my luck. Rosa, I didn't mean... It doesn't matter what you mean! Once is forgivable, but twice! Twice! Wow, wow, wow. I said shut <laughs> I've saved by a green stegosaur grabbing the mighty arm of judgment out of air mid swing. Rosa, remember what we talked about? Steam erupts from no Rosa's nostrils like a bull. You like the Rosa impression? Hey, you got a fan, Shima. Yeah, I have fans. It's not, I... it's not easy to say I laughed at you before I knew you. Yeah, I guess that would seem kind of awkward, too. So she did question how we're, we've been being paired up a lot. Don't use physical force to make people hurt, alright? Use your word. Of course, I should use emotional pain! Th thank you, St- 
That's, that's what manual labor is for, right? Hmm. Yes, yes, of course! Me! Comprendo! You! On! You will help extra two hours after everyone else! Two! Dos! For flowers? For flowers! For flowers! Are you sure you wouldn't rather just beat me? Me! I can do both! Well, thank ya. I, uh, did something I shouldn't have. She ran off. You ruined the flowers of friendship like you do with other my labor! All the flowers, you burned them all! You should go find his thing and apologize and bring her back. You don't share someone's pain, you can never understand them. Did this bitch just quote Naruto of all things? <laughs> If I weren't being directed to leave, I would have bailed anyways. Do you know that's a quote from Naruto? I saw her going towards the parking lot. I'll be right back. You better! You better walk away! Ay, caramba. There aren't many cars in the parking lot. Yeah, that's not a lot of cars there. So thanks, should. <laughs> So fake shouldn't be too hard to find. This is literally all the cars in the parking lot. It's, it's almost full. One no. of them is even parked like in like you see the pink car on near yeah, the center. It, it, left? It's like parked in the middle of like the driveway, um, like, blocking where other cars should be able to cross. I was saying like it's a it's your typical massive school sized parking lot, but literally all the cars are right there. There are no <laughs> other cars in the parking lot. It's just it's just this car. little spot. Yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. If it's just this, there's not many cars. Oh, wait, did I read that? There are many cars in the parking lot, so Fang shouldn't be too hard to find. That pair of wings rustling in between two parked cars is probably a hint. Not sure. I silently approach, hiding behind the other cars in the lot. That's a good way to do it. She's huddled around the passenger door of a garishly yellow minivan. So that one. Wait, is she... Ah, shit, I gotta stop her. Fang, what are you doing? Off, oh, knuckle. Fuck, knuckle. Mm. Fang, don't break into a teacher's car. We'll get... Shut the f up, cunt smuggler, I'm focusing on this. I actually think you shouldn't say that word. No, I've checked, that one's fine. Really? Yeah, because of Australians. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Australia, for saving a word, I guess. Because I know, like, all the time on YouTube, I see YouTubers being like, oh, can't say Australia. that word. Australia! I mean, at worst, it will just be like, oh, you can't monetize this video, but I can't monetize things anyway, so who cares? Sure, all right. I'm over it. Why are you doing this? It'll be fun. <laughs> Why? You want to join in on a joyride? She looks at me like it's a genuine question. No, I don't. What a weird response to this situation, she feels. Fang! What are you doing? Stop kicking the car! Damn it, Fang! I don't know what more to say! Except I'm sorry. I messed up, and that was a dick move. I'm also liking the kicking animation. But if you keep this up, we'll be both going. What? Fucking care! Hold on a second. Beating that car like it owes her money. Ah, 
Alright, I'm back. Brother wanted to show some homemade egg drop soup he made. Yo. What? Egg drop soup. Egg drop soup? Did he drop some eggs into the soup? Well, yeah, yeah, I bet it's like he dropped the yolk into boiling water, and it, the membrane keeps it from cracking, but it boils over in the water. Yeah, from what I've seen, it's from Chinese restaurants, it's basically like that. It's just soup, you crack an egg in, stir it, and it cooks. Ew. Yum. It, it sounds good, but I don't know, the egg texture just doesn't get it to me. We're already in detention! What's a few more days?! To jail, Fang. Go! Get out of here! Go away! You want to get her parents involved? Fang stops kicking the glass, drained of energy and out of breath. Thankfully, the glass isn't even scratched. Dino glass. Good sync up between kick and sound effect. It's not easy to do in in Renpy. I mean, yeah, I mean, from what I know, Renpy is just for, like, basic visual novels, right? So to do everything else, that's pretty impressive. This was a Life in Strange type game. Not joining Fang on the joyride would have been the bad choice. Well, I mean, that's just going to be normal Goodbye Volcano High. <laughs> You're right for being angry at me. You're talented and skilled, and I got nothing to show for myself. And what I did was wrong. But you're better than this. Come on. Fang won't look in my direction. At least she hasn't started kicking the car again. Might be a good idea to give her some space. All of a sudden, I feel like I shouldn't be here. Hey! I think this is just generic teacher voice. Hey! Idiots! What are you guys doing to my car? Oh shit. We freeze. Get out of there, get out of there, get the fuck out of the- Get the fuck out of Dodge. No, but we didn't get in the car, though. <laughs> let's get, well, then let's get, get into in the Honda. Dodge and then get out of it. Get into Honda. Fang immediately bolts towards the, the, the front of the school. I follow after, legs pumping furiously in an attempt to both catch up to Fang and avoid the teacher screeching ass from behind. I see Fang fear into the school, the door closing slowly after. By the jacket on my back, I'm able to slip in just before the door shuts completely. Fang is panting in the stairwell near the door. I'm sure I'm redder than I was earlier with the vines. Why? <sighs> Why did you <sighs> follow me? Why? Be... Uh, because... Uh, I'm sorry. Her sneer returns, and she makes to turn away. I fucked up. Yes, I was at that concert. And yes, I laughed. I never expected to actually become your friend. Her wings block my view of her. But she hasn't left yet. Maybe I could fix this after all. I just wanted to coast through school. I was happy being a loner. I've always been one, after all. Without a word, Fang climbs the stairs. Fuck. I consider following, but her silence was evidence enough that she wants nothing to do with me. And standing here by myself, I have time to think of my own admission. If Fang leaves me alone, I'll get exactly what I want, right? She could probably talk Trish and Reed into leaving me alone too. I'll get the easy life I wanted. So why the fuck do I feel absolutely empty right now? 
I sigh and slump over on the stairs. Can today get any worse? Hama would suggest yes. Oh. You know, I always thought that tempting fate thing was just a dumb cliché. It still is, but maybe Stella has a good point about astrology. Rosa, I found our errant runaway. I hear the shrill screech of a Latina banshee approach. Where did you go? Don't they do us? You were supposed to get fang in the return? Return? Recording? Oh. I'm returning! Right, uh, y yeah, uh, s sorry. You will! There's two hours left for the rest of the students, but that makes four for you. Yeah. Well, that worry and on, we stay as well. Great. The next few hours were grueling hell. Carrying bags of the most rancid smelling fertilizer back and forth. Clearing entire sections of flower beds of weeds using only a trowel. Tilling the same flower beds by hand. I don't think the phrase back breaking labor was supposed to be literal. I of hombres. I could I, right. I could already tell that by the end of the day I would have crippling arthritis. Fang returns eventually. Osteoporosis. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. Fang returns eventually, but still won't talk to me and just sticks nearby, counting vines. Only an hour has passed, but I'm ready to sleep for days. Ah! We will be replanting the flowers you destroyed! Mur destroyed is a harsh word. But I don't know anything about planting. You speak nonsense! Come here, I know I teach you! Rosa teaches you the way the floor is! She motions me to get on my knees next to her and hands me a clump of dirt with a juvenile daisy in it. I will dig the hole and you will place it in the very simple. I somehow almost dropped the flower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Simple. I don't even want to think about what would happen if I mess up a third time. Rosa points up at Fang, who is still aggressively trimming back the vines. Hey, do you want to plant some too? I'll tap. With a practice hand, Rosa clears out a cylindrical hole deep enough for the clump to go in. Yeah, that's what she said. Yay, it's ready. My arms are practically rubber from today's work and are faltering to the point pieces of dirt are being shaken off. A little bit from the hole, I have to catch the whole thing when it slips from my grip. Rosa puts her hands around mine to steady them before I drop it for real. Easy, just like this. The bulb is placed in the hole and we let go. Rosa quickly fills up the patch of dirt with the trowel, leaving only the stem and flower visible. You did it! Congratulations! Doesn't seem like I did much at all. Hush now! You're a big boy! We have dozens left to plant! A keening whine rumbles from my mouth. Can't I just take the beating instead? Please? I'll do that if he really wants it. And knowing what he's downloaded, probably he does. <laughs> you want the bottom of my slipper? I prefer the shovel. Aim right here and do not resuscitate me after. Fang's chuckle helps to light my mood immensely. Maybe. Maybe. 
Anon masters a skill a lobotomized monkey can do. Yeah, he's moving up in the world. Oh. Also, hey, E. Smith, how you doing? monkey could plant a flower, to be honest. I mean, all it was was just putting something in a hole. I feel like a monkey could pull that off. Dig a I hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. A lobotomize, Longfina. I mean, lobotomy doesn't make you entirely brain dead. I continue. Basically, that's true. It, it basically just removes. Like, I'm not a fucking scientist, but I think it just removes like the motor core that determines free thinking or makes you compliant or some shit. Like, you still think and act, but it makes you like ultra compliant. Or I thought they just rip out part of your frontal lobe just to change up your personality. I don't know. I think it, I, I, if I remember, if I know your ability to assess. I don't know. Someone get lobotomized. We'll find out. <laughs> science. It's for Snoop science. <laughs> I continue replanting flowers under Rosa's caring, yet Orwellian supervision. At noon, the bellowing of our principal calls us back up to the front of the school. Thank you all again for showing up today. You, you, uh, Hinkle, I couldn't yeah, you kind of cut out for all of that. I hope that through your hard work, all of you learned a valuable lesson. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, that was fine. Mm. I catch Fang rolling her eyes from the corner of my vision. Please do stay. Stay safe on your way home and try to keep out of trouble in future. Please stay forever. Stay dismissed. I am inconsistent. Fucking caveman, what do I know? No! You and on, you stay forever. <laughs> right, and before everyone else goes. Stella approaches holding a covered pot and paper plates. The small crowd gets a bit more energetic. I'm cooked in mole poblano, and for seconds and thirds. What is mole poblano? Poblano is definitely a type of pepper. It's like a green pepper you usually use for stuffing. Mole, I know it's a food. I just don't know exactly what it's made of. It's mole, mole, mole. Sec. I mean, I just think of guacamole. So with this, uh, mole, it's a sauce. So would this be just stuffed peppers? Oh, actually, I've, actually, I have had this stuff before. It's like Mexican curry. It's spicy. Oh, it's like oh, a sauce wow. that they put on beans and stuff, beans and rice, and it's basically a Mexican take on curry. Ah, sounds good. So poblano basically no. stuffed with hot sauce. Oh, hot sauce. Never mind. Well, it is hot. It is a spice. It is a thick, gooey sauce. Like it's filling, but it is spicy generally. Uh, and again, like, I think most Mexican food is pretty spicy in general. I seem to flip back and forth. Sometimes I can handle some really spicy things, but then other time it just even gets just what touches my tongue once, and I just can't stand it. I don't know why. I have a weird relationship with spice. I handle spice like a princess, but gosh, does it taste good? It's not a taste, damn it! <laughs> it is the sensation of your mouth disintegrating. It's a good pain. The warp takes me. I graciously accept a plate and stack it high with salty sweet goodness. The hot food is absolutely heavenly, reinvigorating me as I bite into the Mexican meal. I'm filling. That's what she said. That's what you said. <laughs> yeah, wish I could cook like that. But you wish she said. Wait. I mean, I'll settle for that's what I said. I look around and see that the only ones left are Rosa, Stella, Fang, and I. Even Spears has gone home. Fang, about. All right, then, on back to work! You still owe me two hours of heavy lifting! I should take them from you! Oh, don't be sad! You're a natural green thumb! You're the only one that should have thumbs! <laughs> you are not laying on my flowers, that is! I don't really 
get compliments. It's just circumstance. It's not like I'm any less lazy or unskilled. Hang on, I'm not done yet. We can wait a bit while you two finish. You need all your energy after all. These guys aren't half bad. I thought they were slave drivers, but then again, I did ruin their hard work. Stella, I've been meaning to ask. Why are you like this? <laughs> what do you, what kind of fuck do you mean by that? Like what? Jesus Christ, are you just gonna ask her why she's green next? Well, I mean, kind of. You know, the whole thing with astrology and quoting... Video games... Oh, I guess it's the, the stuff I like. Right. Why do you ask? Are you interested in it too? I, uh, maybe some other time, Stella. The rest of lunch passes by without incident, and I'm left savoring Rosa's delicious cooking. Like they say, the first rule of Mexican food. The more it looks like raw sewage, the better it tastes. The next two hours of work fly by relatively quickly, without Rosa and Stella breathing down my neck. Replant the rest of the flowers I had crushed, all done by me. Collect all the discarded vines and clippings into compost bins, all done by me. Carry all the tools back into the maintenance shed. Take a guess who did it. Yep, it was me. This honestly sounds like more than two hours of work. Fang stuck around for some reason, even though I don't think she had any other work to do. But now my prison sentence is finally over, and I'm free to go. My feet hurt, my arms hurt, my back hurts. I wish I was back in my apartment. Playing video games. Come on, you did such a good job today! You should sign up for the gardening club! Yeah, you could kind of help with all of our meetings. I just want to go home. That's... I'll... think about it. This makes me want to play Persona. Why is that? I'm, uh, it makes me in the mood for a high school game in general. Oh, well, it's a good thing you're playing one. Have you played any of the Personas? I, I have not. not. No, I mean, because, I mean... Basically, you just do stuff like this and then get social links and your personas get stronger. And then you go fight stands and people's mind policies. Yeah, kind of. I walk away before either of them can push me, can push joining their club further. I'm too tired to argue. Fang seems to have disappeared. Guess she didn't want to stick around longer than she had to after all. As I pass by some of the gardens, I take a moment to admire my handiwork. As much as I didn't want to be here, I have to admit they look a lot cleaner than before. See? That's what doing some actual hard work for once can do you. A Fang. sense of fulfillment. Way to go. Fang's sudden appearance from behind makes me flinch. I guess she stuck around after all. A wimp like you could use it too. Scrawny, bald, and poor isn't a good combination. So now it's so now Fang is subtly talking to and insulting me again. <laughs> yeah, sure. Now all the important and beautiful plants can thrive without any of the useless weeds choking them up and holding them back. Oh hey, Anon. How you doing? Welcome back. What a metaphor. That was, that was actually pretty fucking poignant. For what? Now the, the, the plants and weed metaphor. Ah. Very on the nose observation by Fang. Yeah. Oh, right. 
I almost forgot Fang thinks people like me are barely worth the oxygen. Not that I really blame her after earlier. Yeah, well, don't let the weeds like me get in your way. I sigh and turn away from Fang, beginning my very achy walk home. Time to go and sleep for 20 hours. Anon, wait. I stop at my tracks. Now what does she want? Look, I said I was sorry, okay? I laughed at you guys and ruined your concert. I don't care if you never want to talk to me again. I just don't know what else you want me to say. Hang on. It... It's not the concert that I'm upset about. What? It's not. I mean, maybe a little bit, but... I'm mad because you kept it from me, okay? It's just... I haven't made many friends in, well, a while. I don't want to lose an actual friend over stupid bullshit like this. I just thought you would have trusted me enough to tell me the truth. Uh... Is this why you stuck around earlier? She hesitates before nodding, like she needed to convince herself. Not that it matters, but I'm sorry too. You... for what? Kicking me in the face? I might have overreacted a little bit earlier, but you did deserve that, pervert. I'm sorry for calling you one of the weeds. You're not a weed, I... You're, you're, I don't know, you're like a mushroom or some shit. You're not completely useless. A mushroom? Not like a cool tree or a cactus or something? Hell no, you're not that cool. Mushrooms take all the bad shit and turn it into nutrients for all of the pl good plants, you know? That's actually very complimentary. <laughs> well, plus, you kind of look like one, too. Oh. <laughs> Fucking rude. It's okay, maybe you can get eaten by Mr. Mario, and then turn him big, and then you can go save the kingdom together in your Mushroom Kingdom. That's like the nicest thing I think I've ever heard you say. Now you're pushing it. I let out a sigh of relief. Can't say that's how I expected this conversation to go. Ah, I guess we're both assholes, then. <laughs> yeah. Friends? friends. So, uh, why do you know so much about mushrooms exactly? Reed? Fang gives me a sideways glance and smiles a bit. Spend enough time around Stella and Rosa and you pick up a few gardening facts. Shroomhead. Yeah, first impressions aside, they're pretty alright, I guess. Stella's a bit weird and Rosa is a walking stereotype. Why is he such a stereotype? A dork like you calling Stella weird? That's a laugh. A dork like me has every right to call out Stella. Sure, sure. Anyways, I'll be seeing you, Anon. Yeah, see you. Fang strolls away, humming some tune I never heard. Left alone now with just my thoughts, I find myself feeling a great weight lift from me. Friends. Huh. I can't recall the last time I had a legitimate friend. Some people certainly aren't. Just never meant to amount to anything or do anything important. Hmm. I just don't know anymore. I set off for my apartment, body sore, but spirit soaring. One month now. Five to go, and I found myself in a predicament. I'm enjoying my time with Fang. What a predicament. The horror. 
I've been actually liking spending time with people. Most of the time, just talking about stupid shit. Like our mutual love for Wire Foo and comedy movies. Wire Foo. Uh, it's basically an action movies where they're doing a fight scene and it relies a lot on the special effects granted by the wires lifting them up. Like going, uh, It's basically like Wuxia shit uses a lot of wire foo. Interesting. We are both ventriloquists, ventriloquists, ventriloquists. We are both ventriloquists and we practice every day. I feel like that's probably a song or reference that I don't get. Yeah. He carries a basket. He carries a paper roll. And we don't have cysts. But there is one thing that's for sure, my friends. We are ventriloquists. What the fuck? <laughs> Almost every day now, I'm either at her desk helping her in science, or working on a lab with her. Or she sat next to me... Or she sat... Or she sat next to me decrypting the mystical arts of not sucking at music. I'm talking more with her than anyone I've ever talked with. Not to, how friendship works. Not to mention lunch and after school. It's less hiding from the tangerine tyrant and Nazer these days, and more spending time with Fang and Reed. Even if he's constantly checked out. And smells of burnt skunk. Stream that movie if you're so great. Oh, okay. It's from Kung Pao then. Uh, the fuck is he on anyway? Dude, what not am I on? Carfe, bro. Who's Reed? Oh, that's Reed. <laughs> Duh. What? Carfinantanel. Carfantanel. Car. I don't know, man. Whatever. Fang and the gang <laughs> are pretty alright. Trish, though. You mean best girl? <laughs> Every day she gives me the same look of distrust and a put-upon sigh. Is it bad that that just turns me on more? <laughs> As if I'm some kind of chore to deal with. Whatever. It's not like she matters in the long run. Oof. But I find myself having these weird thoughts lately. About Trish? Like <laughs> like, is any- but, Oh my god, it is! Like, is any of this real or not? Wait, is that a it's reference? The Kingdom Heart, it's the opening to Kingdom Hearts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna quote it Wait. and it for me. Hmm. And we just can't when get away from Kingdom Hearts. away, you won't hear me say, Please! Oh baby! Don't go! Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. Oh, me! What is ever happened off this morning? Yeah, I'm done. Is a little later on, regardless <laughs> of warnings. <laughs> God damn. I tumble backwards. Because of the music. Off of the stage. Well, Whoa! Hey. <laughs> Did you already forget the stoner? Well, Hinkle apparently, because he's been too focused on the Triceratops. I forgot his name was Reed. It just doesn't feel correct. Ow. Bruh. It sucks, dude. It's lunchtime now, and I guess I dozed off. Too many late night study sessions. Huh. You're like, need help, dude? Okay. And that was. What? So, masturbation joke, yes? Oh, late night study session? I thought he was just online trolling all night. Oh, I guess that could be it. Either or. I mean, I mean I I wouldn't I'm, just, I'm, I'm calling back to the picture of his desk. <laughs> You're not gonna let that one go, are you? I, I'm telling you, I, I, what it is. I don't know what the fuck you guys are seeing, but... <laughs> just, just fix the projector, Reed. Okay. Almost done, dude. 
I hobble to my feet, feeling out the bruise blossoming on my shoulder. Uh, stupid fucking stage. I consider jumping back up, but I find the stairs up more appealing. <laughs> she actually blocks them. Going up the stairs, Trish suddenly grabs my shoulder, pinning it to the wall. Impressive. Sexiest of my life. <laughs> Impressive for a short size. She leans in close, looking me dead in the eyes. Uh... Can I help you? Don't play dumb. Something's up with Fang today. She gestures to where Fang is sitting. Fang's picking at her lunch with a fork, not eating a bite. Now that I think about it, she has been a bit bist a bit distant today. A bit distant. <laughs> They've been like... They've been like this since band practice yesterday. Wait, what? Did you do something to them? Do something? What does she mean? She doesn't think that Fang and I... Fight! What? No! I... I don't think, at least. Why are you so concerned? Everyone has a bad day every bad day every now and then, right? Fang and I have been friends for ten years now. How many years have you been friends with her? Not even one month. Not once have I seen them this upset. You're the only new thing around here. Obviously, it's your fault. Ouch. It can't be anyone else. I am perfect. <laughs> so, what did you do? I swear I haven't done anything with Fang. Look, we got music next. I'll ask Fang what's up then. Trish glowers. We both glance at Fang to see her still sitting there with her untouched food. You'll talk to Fang. You'll probably make it worse. I should be the one to talk with them. So why haven't you? Trisha's mouth shuts with a click. I stare her down. Her eyes harden as she finally speaks. Fine. But you better not fuck up weird that she decided not to. She lets go of my shoulder, stuffing her hands in her jacket pockets with a huff. But I think it's because we caught her on her not having spoke up herself. I mean, she still could, though. I mean, stopping. True. I finally returned to where I was sitting on the stage to continue finishing my lunch. Right when I plant myself on the ground, Reed speaks up. Done so. Done? With the projector? That's right, man. Now we can watch movies, shows, pornos, and all that stuff. Wait, what was that last one? Streaming video games, go on Netflix, homemade movies, slideshows, PowerPoints, there's anything a projector can do, man. When? We're not watching porn in school. Right, we're not. <laughs> Wink. Not with that attitude. Horrible. <laughs> 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 Trish throws an orange slice at me. The what do you guys want to watch? I mean, there's Bikini Babes four. There's Basement Knockoff five. There's Backdoor Sluts nine. Oh nine. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the fact that Fang hasn't come to her to talk about the problems is probably what's bugging her. Oh. 
Right. Right. I see that too. Interesting. I can't think of anything that would be appropriate around normal high schoolers. Normal high schoolers. Yeah, you so, know, just normal dinosaur high schoolers. Yeah, so what he's saying is he's not in high school. No, he's saying all he has is weep stuff. So it's like we previously surmised he's not a high school student at all. Wait. High school. When did you wait? When did we surmise that? I don't recall I this. I mixing things together now. Trish raises her hand and jumps in place. How about the Count of Monte Cristo? I'm cultured. Oh, I know that one. The actors in that one are pretty great. Oh, yeah. I love the VA work. <laughs> Trisha Reed, stop and stare at me. Crap, what, was it something I said? What? Stupid bell. <laughs> Saved by the bell. That's a good show, dude. <laughs> I looked to Fang and... Oh. Why did she leave? Oh. Fang left already. I'll go catch up with her. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I'm okay with the VA work, but only if it's the original Japanese, man. You can uh, really hear the inflections that way. I make record- Dubs are dubs. I make record time out of the auditorium, leaving a still confused Trish and Reed. Fang isn't in music class when I get there. I tap out a quick message to her on my phone. I take a spot next to her seat and wait. Maybe she just needed to use the bathroom. She's pregnant. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm starting to get worried. Something's up with Fang today, today, today. Hmm. I looked at my phone, and the message I sent her way, sent her way just before class started. Hey, wanna talk? Still on scene. Hmm. You better not fuck up! Fuck up! God damn it. You're fucking up! <laughs> Mr. Jingo, I need to use the bathroom. Jinjo. One guitar-shaped bathroom pass later, I'm scrambling through the halls. If I were a non-binary teenage pterodon having a crisis, where would I hide? Someplace only Fang would go. Someplace only we know. The family bathrooms. <laughs> There are only two in the building. I sprint to the first bathroom, closer to the back of the school, and nestle away in the special needs area. My knuckles wrap against the door, locked and preoccupied. Fang? You're missing class. I seriously need help with the sheet music. I'm just gonna assume it's Stella. <laughs> the one you think is elsewhere. Who the fuck? Wait. You're that weird Stella- ah! Stego chick! <laughs> Stella? The, the wording oh. <laughs> That's very rude. I'm still not weird. Whatever. Do you know where Fang is? Not here. Can you please leave? I have a nervous letter. I turn away from the door and sprint to the front of the school, where the other bathroom is. It's while I'm moving briskly through the empty corridors of the school with untuned guitar in hand that I find Divine Providence. Or rather... A good part. The feathers floating by the window provide me with the clue I need. You could probably sell that for some money. What? Divine... what? 
I don't know. To be honest, I'm just assuming Divine Providence is a Magic the Gathering card. If it's not, I'd be very surprised. I mean, I feel like that could be a card for any game. I'm sure there is some game that has the card Divine Providence. I look out the window, and while I can't look up to see for sure, the shadow that she is casting on the ground below is enough verification required. My feet climb the steps easily, but my mind is ill at ease. The hell is wrong with me right now? Why do I feel anxious right now? What did you do? Do, do. What, what, what if I did do something? Bang and I have been friends for 10 years. That's way longer than you. <laughs> I've known her for barely a month. Why is it my problem to fix? Not once have I seen them this upset. I can't stop the gnawing feeling in my chest. I'm going to gnaw on your chest. Oh God, no. I'm at the door to the roof now. There is a Dragon Ball card game card called Divine Providence. Interesting. Is it worth hundreds of dollars, like you said? It's worth five dollars. I mean, that's not nothing. It's shut, but by the handle, I notice a piece of cardboard tucked between the door and frame, keeping the latch open. Good job, dork. 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 Thanks, Merc's a bit. Damn it all. Fang's problems first, then I can figure out my chest. I open the door, and am immediately blinded by the sun. Nice view, though. Yeah. I shade my eyes. The door clicks shut behind me. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Idiot. Idiot. Who's the... Hanon? Is that the guitar? Fang is sitting atop the stair enclosure, looking down at me. Mr. Jango's hall pass. I, uh, kinda needed help with the sheet music again. Wow, you really, really, really suck at music. Yeah, I really do. I find the ladder easily enough, and climb up on top of the tiny hut. Around Fang are scattered feathers. She's molting. You alright? The feather- Greening. What? Fang uh. sighs. She holds one of her wings and gently brushes her fingers through the feathers. Raining my wing. She winces. A feather drifts to the floor. That looks painful. A little. I sit down next to her and look out at Volcadera Bluff. It's a beautiful view. It's a distraction. You ever? Um, I guess. Stay, stay quiet. Stay quiet. She's about to say something. Yeah. There's a time to speak and a time to listen. Do you ever feel like you just don't matter? Never. Fang stares at the vista of Volcadera, but her eyes are vacant. I feel like no matter what I do, I'll never be able to make something. I try, and I try, but nobody likes the way I express myself. She growls. Not once, after all the work I've put into V-Verm drama, has anyone ever told me it was good? Her eyes wetten, her voice roughens, her shoulders quake. 
nobody's ever said good job, Thane. Can I get a copy of that last song on CD? I've been playing music since I was basically in diapers, and all I have to show for it is shit reputation. Her hand curls into a fist. Her nails bite into her palm. And I can clearly see the minute trickle of blood. How much harder do I have to try to get people to notice me? Her fist crashes down on the floor. Even my own parents! When Dad looks at me, it's like he just sees a lost cause. Oh, Fang is the scene teen. Better focus on the one that isn't broken so we don't screw up again. She punctuated her shouts with her fist, striking the roof beneath her. Her fist lands softly one final time, uncurling to reveal the bleeding grooves her sharp nails have left. Now she's gonna get blood on her face. Watching her break apart, it's causing the dull pain in my chest to intensify. Why can't I be popular like him? Fang deflates completely, all her anger gone, replaced with melancholy. Nazer doesn't even have to try at all! Even crippled, he just breezes through life. Why does he get straight A's? Why does he get my parents' attention? Why do I have to be the burden on everyone? She grabs her knees and buries her face in her lap. Maybe this is the time to interrupt. Nah, stay nope. quiet. <laughs> Thanks. No, I, okay, sorry. Right. Do you really want to stay quiet, or was that? No, no. Oh, sorry. Interrupt. Okay, no. But let's interrupt here. Here's a good place to butt in. You aren't a burden to me. Fang removes her head from her knees and looks to me with pleading eyes. What? I'm your friend too, right? I don't think you're a burden. Fang sniffles a bit. Here's what I think. I put my arm on Fang's shoulder. You're in a pretty bad spot right now. Self-improvement is hard, but there's nothing to be gained without sacrifice, right? Fang gives a slight nod. You need to step out from your comfort zone more often, even if you think there's no time. There's no harm in diversifying, right? Fang looks away from the coastline and to me. No, maybe you're right. Sorry, there was a delay on my side. You could also try harder to get along with Nacer. I guarantee there's not that much in the way between you two. You'll be there to support me, right? Sure. I don't know if I'm strong enough to do all that. I believe you can be. Being weak is nothing to be ashamed of. Staying weak is. You just stole that from Black Clover. <laughs> <laughs> just don't, don't ruin it. Add on. Fucking add on. You don't have to do it alone. See, it's okay when he quotes anime. Aww. Aww. Fang embraces me tight. Thank you. We sit in silence for a few minutes. If the the what's the wow from Anon Moose? 
Don't worry uh, about what's it. Black Clover. It's the calling out the Black Clover. What's Black Clover? <laughs> uh, really good anime. I, he's being sarcastic because <laughs> he's the guy who wrote the line. <laughs> I see your ass is playing Minecraft. <laughs> Eventually, she lets go. Fang's breathing is evening out, as she looks far more composed now. Hey, can I see that? Fang points at my oversized hall pass. Yeah, sure. Oh, so it's, like a, it's like a fucking literal guitar. Yeah, it's guitar. an actual guitar, yeah. I thought so it was just like a guitar-shaped. The funny thing is, when he said guitar-shaped hall pass, I was going to make a joke that he's just running around the halls of a guitar. Yeah, yes. That actually you is see, what's hall pass. Jesus. <laughs> She takes it from my hands, our fingers brushing for a second. She blushes while she handles the acoustic bathroom pass. I think, I think I finally got the tune, Anon. Two? I just want to also throw out there that purple and orange is the best color combination, and she's smart enough to know that. It's a pretty good one. It's an underrated one. Well, I mean, it's uh, it works it's, out because it's, it's like uh, yeah, what? Are her wings bleeding? Uh, yeah. from the pre, maybe. Like orange and purple are like opposites on the color wheel, white, right? So that's why they Almost. work. Almost orange, orange and blue are the exact opposites. Oh, right, right, right. Right next to blue. Again, that wasn't grooming. That was just intentional self harm. No, I think preening is. I mean, it wasn't intentional. No, that's so. preening. You're like just clean. You're, Straighten I mean, out the feathers and like getting rid of the out the ones preening. that have already disconnected. Oh yeah, so maybe she was self-harming with the with the preening. Yeah. She finishes tuning the guitar and tests it. With a nod to herself, Fang begins strumming. The rhythm is slow and the tone is soft, enough so that her humming blends perfectly with it. I lean back, bobbing my head along to the impromptu music. The streaks from her tears that had once marred her pretty face only help to highlight her soft smile now. I hum along now too, which causes Fang to giggle. The rhythm is slowing to a crawl, the song about to end. With a meteor coming soon, everyone's going to die. So say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, Volcano High. The lyrics surprise me, but I shrug it off. You ready to get up? Fang nods and wipes her tears one last time with her forearm. I stand and pop my back, looking out over the fence at the ground below. From here, I can see the afternoon sun starting to encroach on the skyline of the small coastal town. Turning to Fang, I crouch a bit and extend my hand to her. She moves her bloody hand to take it, but hesitates. She softly grasps my hand. She winces in pain. You know, it's strange. I expected the alarms to go off again, but this feels different somehow. More natural. That's not real. I'm careful to hoist her to her feet, mindful of her injured palm. But her beak accidentally bumps into my cheek on her way up. Ah, there they are. Fang's eyes contract, and she instinctively hops backwards covering her muzzle with her hands and turning her head away in near flustr flusteration. Uh, flusteration, I like that word. I clench my lower jaw and look at my palm, slick with sweat in her blood. There's a lot of blood. Uh, it's, it's, it's painful to see. The silence continues for an immeasurable amount of time. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so that's how dinos kiss. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Not really. 
We do ha ha, but it's not really ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Uh. I look for something. Anything. To end this awkwardness. Like the guitar hall pass. Wait. I check my phone, seeing that Mr. Jinko's class will be ending in 10 minutes. Fuck. The assignment. Fang finally looks my way again, though her face is still flush. What? Mr. Jinko's assignment. There's no way to hell I'll be able to do it at home. <laughs> Fang's hands try to cover her beak, failing horribly to contain her giggles. <laughs> you really, really suck at music. I glare at her. Holy dino god. <laughs> Why don't you just drop it, alright? It's an elective anyway. Be right now. Because I need to maintain my GPA for college. Because I, I kind of like it. I blush and look down to the entrance of the roof below us. Maybe I'll help you. Fang hops down, her wings easing her landing. Okay, so they can at least like kind of hover or double jump. Glide. At least agree. I owe you for the fucking therapy session anyway. Kinda wish they made the talking sprites show the blood, just so it's as much of a shock as when the uh, CG pops up. I mean, maybe. Or at the very least, after Anon would climb up the thing to make it visual. No, actually, no. I do kinda like the impact when you see the CG, because you're like, oh shit. Yeah, it's sort of like, uh, I mean, you, in the actual situation, may not have noticed there was blood at first, and then there's more blood as it I, continues to bleed. True. I mean, most of it is in the wings until, you know, her outburst, then it, it kind of starts spreading. Oh, thank fuck. I climb down the ladder. Those wings must be really convenient. Fuck is up here. The wings are more of a built-in parachute or wingsuit. I mean, that, that's still really cool. That's parachute. that's almost flight. Falling with style. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh well, there's a way down. The door flies the open. Door literally flies open. <laughs> Off his hinges, through the suicide fence, and over the side of the building, crashing loudly on the concrete below. Are they actually called suicide fences? I mean, I, I guess. I'm sure they're not. They're, that's not what they're literally called. I'm sure they're just called protective fences or something. But that is the reason they're there. Well, okay. it's not really much of a deterrent. That's just like an extra few steps to climb over a chain link fence. Well, it's sort of like angles inward, though. You got to be talented. Yeah, you can kind of see it's it's sloping inward. Also, what what high schooler could possibly climb a fence? I mean, they could, but <laughs> they'd have to have the talent. Yeah, but if they're at the point where they want to jump off a roof, I don't think they're fit enough to climb a fence. I, I, also, I mean, like... At the very least, you have to apply now, the talent all the way up, so that gives you something to think about. <laughs> now, it does, maybe, now it doesn't matter because there's a hole in the suicide fence. It's like, people who want to kill themselves, people who want to an hero can do so at their leisure now. By the time you climb to the top of, your fe to the, top of the fence, you're like, man, you know, that felt pretty good. Maybe I should just yeah, get, I mean, I should start working out now. It's extra time to think about it. Anyways. I know someone is... <laughs> Actually, I'm quite eloquent. I know someone... No. <laughs> I know someone is ditching up here. My hunting instincts can tell. Oh, double fuck. Uh... Ow. Principal Spears looks at us, finger pointed at me as if to fire a special beam cannon through my chest. Makenko Sepo! Kazoo type. 
<laughs> oh, that's what it's called. <laughs> In all my goddamn years, on top of the roof, explain now. Why is there so much blood? Bullshit mode activate. Uh, he was just beating me, sir. <laughs> we weren't doing anything else. <laughs> I don't know if that actually sounded better, it just came out. <laughs> oh god, could you imagine just giving that excuse? Oh, it's all fine, he was just beating me. <laughs> we weren't doing anything else. Nothing lewd, just violent. We're just practicing for marriage. <laughs> I got lost looking for the bathroom? Spears incinerates me on the spot. Yeah. I am dead now. What if that actually is the way the game ends? Uh, it's, it's, it's Estra's season. For a brief instant, I picture Fang in a bikini. Hmm, nice. nice. Not Holy bad. Trish. Do you still think Trish is best girl? Yes. Okay, you got terrible taste. Hot. I'm just not that into Fang. I don't know what to tell you. Fang gets a similar stare and withers down. I'm, I'm like estressing. I'm just estressing so hard right now. I had no choice. I'm not stupid. Tarot Estra season is for another few months. I'm very you know? familiar. How do you know that? Remember when we sure. spoke to him in the I'm office? Really. He 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 know he's seen some shit when he told us don't talk about that. Also, I mean, it's like, there's lots of different dinosaurs. So, I mean, it's like, he has to know them for all of them. Empty pockets. No. Man, you know, if you, think, if you think about it that way, with all the different dinosaur breeds, there's probably at least some going through extra season at every every given day at the school. Lude. <laughs> I reduced myself to Hoover flags. All I had on me was my phone and a ratty wallet held together with hot glue and duct tape. Hoover flags. Fang does the same, dropping her own phone, a spare guitar pick, and an unopened pack of cigarettes. Hoover flags. Spears looks at Fang dead in the eyes, rips the package open, and stuffs every cigarette in his mouth at once. <laughs> to our mortified stares, he chews them until they are a brown glob and spits it over the fence, landing on a rather oriental looking car. I mean, that's one way to get people to stop smoking. You can get cancer that way too, I think. Oh my god, alright. Moving on. Blast now! Imagine a month long period. Now you know he does why he doesn't want to talk about it. Is it really a month long? Well, it's well, not a period either. Period thing. implies that the. Humans get it once a, uh, once a month, uh, other creatures only get it once a year, but it lasts for a lot longer. Yeah. But I mean, well, if, first of all, I'm pretty sure, it's, I'm still pretty sure this is a mammalian thing, but anyway, um... Well, they're, ma they're mammals. Okay. <laughs> uh, they're mammal they, source. Um, they're mammal sources. They, they, some, somehow human and dinosaur, like, I don't want to know how, but somehow dinosaur and human genes clearly crossed over at some point. You're, no, a you're brave right. man. Brave man, a pioneer, one might say, or a brave woman. Well, that's also true. Honestly, thinking about it, maybe. Well, a I mean, that would be a much braver woman then, because imagine oh, yeah, the, the size of the, 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 with the how big dinosaurs are. Yeah, well, no, you know what? Well, then again, the like, like velociraptors and stuff were pretty tiny, right? So. Well, we already yeah, discussed the whole cool thing. Than, so. There's a lot more than just velociraptors. It had to be a man. <laughs> I mean, I guess the woman can just like rub Kowaka with vagina. Imagine, imagine being, imagine being so fed up with cave women at the time he decided to go out and fuck a dinosaur. <laughs> what a chad. Um, what was I gonna say though? Something about estrus. Uh, oh, but the period is like after the egg phase is already like, like after the egg is ready. So it's not. It's like the egg is ready for insemination. I assume the period part probably lasts about the same amount of time, but the actual estrus would be like before that. Hmm. 
Learn a lot today. I'm not a vet. I'm not a vet. I'm not a vet. I couldn't tell you about extra seasons for real. I just know the meat. I just I just know that they are horny seasons for animals. <laughs> now a month long of that. That's something I can get down with. Nurse? Oh, because he's bleeding. Or she's... They are bleeding. Oh, it has... Not the thing about it. Hasn't the narration been saying she? Well, that's Anon's narration. Yeah, Anon, Anon's yeah, I'm just, I'm just Anon, I mean, Anon isn't gonna go with the they stuff in yeah. his body. There, there's still an external male component for some birds, like ducks. Oh, yeah. I already know too much about ducks. A terrifying sprudic. Hey, nurse. I looked to Fang one last time. She looks like she looks a mess. Oh. Wow, Jesus! Oh, it's, it hurts to see. Her wings are ragged, feathers misaligned, and a clear patch of that missing on one. You get the full image. Stains on her legs from her makeup, tears and blood. Drying blood on her hands, arms, and beak. Eyes puffy and red from crying. But her smile was... I wave her goodbye and wordlessly return to class. Ah, you, you just want to protect that smile, don't you? I, I, it's a smile I, to protect. It's a smile like worthy of protecting. Definitely not preening, by the way. I mean, it could yeah, be over preening. A little, a little violent preening. I mean, yeah, my cat licks himself to the point that he has no fur in some places. God, that 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 seems worse, cause God, how that's a tongue doing that. Yeah, he how? he he's just he's very persnickety. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, do cat cats have like like don't their tongues have like. Like little, oh, yeah, little they're rough tongue yeah, they're rough so they can for clean hair. Really well. So I guess but yeah, that could be ripping some hair out. He goes way too far. There's a much better, high detailed version of the CG. I think game? I think I might have seen that with shading and lighting. I think I, right, someone did a like high res version of it, right? Not like an uh, in game one. You mean? I only have a few minutes, but I can't focus on the assignment. I'll have to take it home as homework. Maybe I'll help you. 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 I take out my phone and consider messaging Fang again. <gasps> my heart thumps roughly in my chest. J just what is with me today? All this drama. When did my life become a soap opera? <laughs> Even included a dramatic kiss. A lot better than just fucking shit posting. Eh. You try making 50 high quality CG sometime. Oh no, I'm not. The thumbnail took me way too long for the quality it is, and I I'm not doing art for a while. Caveman brain go unga bunga what? must protect. <laughs> what? Taz, did you draw the thumbnail? Yes, I the did the thumbnail this oh morning because I was like, I need a thumbnail because I don't want to just do sprites and a soy jack trace like last time. Well, it was really good. Oh, thank you. Perspective is hard. I don't know how to draw a snoot in 3D. Is whenever I it, it took me too many tries to just get that look. I look at my hand, her blood now dried and dusty on my palm. Did... Did that count as a kiss? No. I mean, it was unintentional. She backed off and all. Ah, oh, jeez, my insides feel like liquid. Surely that's just my disgusted reaction to, smart, to Spear's scare tactic up there. Nah, this is not fear. 
Unlike a bottomless pit, the feeling is... Pleasant. Yeah. yeah. I kinda like it. I mm. liked it. I wonder if Fang... <gasps> the feeling intensifies. But, but why? I only thought of... It's not as if she... But... Do... Do, do I like Fang? <gasps> Fuck. I'm gay. <laughs> I like a girl, damn it. I'm gay. <laughs> Excuse me, you shit lord. It's cum stains. Yeah, there you yeah. I, I still don't see it. I it, don't understand what the fuck else you could see. It's two different colors of shading. It's an ob It's clearly a pen or something. He spilled barbecue sauce on his desk. <laughs> it's clearly what? It's a pen. How? How is I that? I think a pen? that's stretching it. I, I sure as hell don't know what it is. I don't think it's a cum stain though. I think it could still be a mouse, but just a very misshapen mouse. I. Which one are you referring to? Because there's three of them. Uh, yeah, closely grouped together. Maybe, I, th I guess I thought the whole thing was one mouse. But obviously it's not. What do you mean, I oh, Wait, huh, three huh, things? Huh. Where are you seeing three things? This is one line. Well, do you see, like, the three shapes oh, to oh, it? Oh, oh, wait. Kaz, do you think I'm talking about, I'm, like, physically on the, like, monitor? No, I'm, I'm, where am I, can you see my cursor? Yeah, I can see your cursor. Yeah, that's I'm, what I'm talking, talking about this thing, right here. I actually can't see your cursor. Oh, I can see it on your stream, but not... Yeah, so there's that one, yeah. but then there's also on the keyboard this? and under the monitor. Well, the, these are obviously the keys for the keyboard. There's only half the keyboard has keys on it? Well, because the light is coming in, so this side's in the shadow. Because, see, the light is only shining on this part of the table, but not over here. Which one are you calling a mouse, Shima? Uh, like the, uh, far left part kind of looks like a mouse from a certain angle. Ah. What, the, like this upper part? That's the least mouse-like one you could have picked. It's clearly a reflective choice of color. I, I mean, don't I, think it's semen. I just don't think it's semen is all it is. It's, it's, it's clearly computer pieces. Nondescript computer pieces. One month later... Still have him cleaned up that shit stain. <laughs> I'm letting it. Well, yeah, it's been a month. That thing needs to be chiseled yeah. off now. The whole game was up to a month just a few just a few scenes ago, and now it's been two months. We're speed running now. I'm laying in bed on a Saturday morning. It's been raining the last few days, so I'm stuck inside. Hey, you can go outside. No, the rain will melt you. I guess it's possible. Acid <laughs> rain could be a thing in this world. Not like I had any other plans anyways. The forecast says it should clear up later today. There's no new games out, and my backlog is just the perfect size of fuck that noise. Oh, I know that too well. Yeah. Play I don't... video games. Don't go on V. Play video games. Oh my Why god, Why are you yeah. going about on V <laughs> complaining about video games you've never played when you can go actually play video games? Guy, I love it. It's just like that one image of the Steam achievements where they have everything done except play a game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even feel like baiting on a certain basket, weave, basket weaving Polynesian forum. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Oh, the desk thing is supposed to be this. Oh, we're Hinkley, you're going to get an answer from the dev. A gist name. <laughs> The light of my phone is the only thing illuminating my hovel of a home. I scroll through the camera roll out of boredom. At least, that's what I tell myself. Interspersed through various memes and screenshots of homework assignments are pictures Fangs have been sending. Pictures of what? Pictures Fang has been sending. But of what? Over the last month, I've been included more in Fang's circle of friends. Never imagined I have so many actual pictures on it. Each one brings a vivid memory to mind. Usually an embarrassing one. But there's some other ones. Like of me with the rest of the band just enjoying the atmosphere in the auditorium. 
My perusal through old pictures and interrupted with a text. I I'm bothered by the fact that he said that Anon said the task thing is supposed to be this, and then said nothing. <laughs> um, maybe he's baiting looking you. For, looking for a new band venue. Don't feel like going alone. It's dangerous to go to, alone. Do you want to come with? Take this, whips out dick. <laughs> alone? No, shut the fuck up, alarms. Why alone? Chris has an orn operation, and Reed is appointment. <laughs> appointment. Horn appointment. Uh, horn Reed. operation. Oh, no, a horn appointment, and this is not better than a horn operation, but there you Trish go. Has, Trish has a horn appointment, and Reed is... Fang is typing. Reed. Oh, preoccupied. <laughs> Both work. Uh, like, back to the story. What? <laughs> All right, where are we dropping? Where are we dropping? Where are we dropping, boys? Just show up in my place in like an hour. Need to go now. Okay. This is fine. It's just helping a friend of mine find some place for her band to play. A friend I have feelings for. And we're alone. Holy shit, he has lights in this room! Oh, okay, maybe... There you go, it could either be... Oh. Well, the book is too big, maybe the mouse pad. Yeah. There's no Disney. <laughs> he turned off his black light! He turned off his black light, you can't see the shame anymore. I never looked at the full... Now, let's see, okay, there's the mouse. On the far... Just right hanging side. off, just hanging, hanging off, off the, the desk. Okay. Is that a pencil? Wait, it, is that a pencil sharpener? I, it looks like a humidifier. What is that all the way to the left? This? I guess a figurine. Hard to say. It kind of looks like a figurine. I couldn't could tell. Be a router. Oh, could be a router. Or, Ow, or oh, maybe oh, that's yeah. the router. No, because why is there a USB plug coming out of it? Also, Anon is a faithful follower of uh, Raptor Jesus. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Just hanging out. Calm down, Anon. Calm the fuck down. I boot up my computer and start a gotcha thread on a Taiwanese rum brewing blog site. The soothing replies bring my heartbeat down to an acceptable level. I mean, all she can do is reject you. Yeah, but rejection hurts. To top it off, I insult the mods and then report my own post so I know they have to see it. Take it for a minute, all you have to do is practice. You know, I, I just came practice across an interesting, an interesting theory why Fang and Anon get along. They both hate people, but have a desire to be liked or at least interacted with with a great deal of people. Uh, Trish, not Trish, I meant to say, uh, Fang uh, obviously has a low opinion of most other individuals, but still desires their attention and their uh, affirmation through her song or some kind of work. And Anon, you know, feels the same way, but he's constantly seeking the attention of others, even through negative trolling means. So, it's kind of an interesting parallel between the two. But if you keep getting rejected, huh, I never picked up on that. Any it's like he's, they, they, they're both loners who still feel desperately needed to be attended, uh, have others pay attention to them. Uh, just, I, I remember that one Futurama bit when they're going for Bigfoot, and Fry's like, you know. Uh, Bigfoot was always my favorite monster because I always imagined him as the one that's too cool to hang out with all the others, but secretly wants to be wants to be accepted by the group. <laughs> that's why he wants. That's why he wants all those views. He just wants human interaction, like any normal person. He's just not uh, socially. Uh, he's just too socially awkward to get it through most other means. You'd say Shima's right. I mean, yeah, that's a, that is a really great theory. I, I never thought about it that way. Man, playing point, through... being all, point being, all shit posters are just a cry out for help. So next time you see a shit post online, think of the person who made it. Send them a virtual hug. I am become a non collector of use and poster of shit. By now, the rain has subsided. Still feeling refreshed, I grab my jacket and start making my way across town to Fang's house.
passing through the snobby part of town to catch a bus, my thoughts begin intruding on me. Images of what's to come pass before my eyes unwarranted. Looking for restaurants? Because they could be good venues, of course. Walking through the mall, maybe? That, that'd be a good spot. The day turns to night, and the temperature drops. I offer Fang my coat, and... <laughs> oh, God damn it, no, this isn't a day! Oh, shit, my stop! I scurry off the bus right as the doors are closing. And I don't forget to thank the driver. I just, uh, imagine, uh... <laughs> just uh, like the... I like the, I like the... I like the edit, they just added a tail on a guy. <laughs> A, ta a tail, the, uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a snout. All the uh, scenes in Austin Powers where the door closes behind him and he goes, "Ooh!" like the the door pinched his butt. <laughs> uh, that's what I just pictured as he got off the bus. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the bus stop is luckily only a block away from Fang's neighborhood. There's a few stores open, and a street vendor is gleefully setting up shop for the first time in a few days. She calls out to me as I pass. Uh, oh, so this no. is a female. Uh, oh, uh, uh, I just took a female. I just took a new female. Hinkle, yeah, hinkle. I'm trying to think of what other voices to do. Um, mm -hmm. I, don't I can do the Mia voice. I mean, I'm trying to think of a voice, but I can't... Re Mm. Uh, do the Mia voice. Do the Mia voice. It's probably going to be a. Uh, I, I just because their name is Street Vendor, I assume they're not going to be important. Well, what are, is this much of a character? Uh, they show up. They're here and then later on. Not for too Actually, much. You know what? I'm just going to be. I'm going to be Princess Peach. You go for it. Some storm, eh? <laughs> oh, they have an avatar. Oh, uh, yeah, it was. People don't usually take the bus here these days. Where are you headed? Southern accent, Australian voice. You could not have gotten farther. All right, all right. Southern accent. All right. It's time for a lot of heart. Yeah, go for a lot of dude. Right. A lot of. People don't usually take the bus here these days. Where are you headed? Just uh, over to the suburbs over there. High school or take the bus to the suburbs on a Saturday? You're gonna see a girl, ain't you? How did... I, I mean, I am, but it, it isn't like that, you know? Come on! You got... You can't fool me! At any rate, why not pick up... I uh, Oh, like hot dogs. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what, what? What were you thinking? I don't know. I was just gonna Here, pick up a chihuahua, pick up yeah, an octopus. Dinosaur. Dinosaurs love that shit. <laughs> I'll get that bitch a chihuahua. Bitches love. Bitches chihuahuas. love chihuahuas. At any rate, why not pick up a few dogs and press her? I mean, impress her with hot dogs is still fucking. <laughs> just big. show up at her door with a bunch of hot dogs in your arms. Your baby got Are you stuff. Are you in the quest? I got that. Does this satisfy I got... you? B babe, I got like 20 hot dogs. You like me? I got that bitch a Frankenfurter. Bitches love Frankenfurters. A Doofenshmirtz? Uh, a German oh, hot dog. Where's the platypus? I got a hot dog for you. <laughs> we got ice cream too. Oh, if she's a Herbie, I was I was confused by Herbie. She's a Kirby. <laughs> Maybe later. I'll keep it in mind. What is she supposed to be? She is from a, an abandoned game off of VG that... Actually, I don't know why the devs picked it. I think maybe I just because it's like a nice kinda, design. I think he meant like what kind of dinosaur. Oh. I think it's just a kobold. Like, not a specific dinosaur. <laughs> that is a kobold, tell. you're right. My autism tickles at me, I need to know all the dinosaurs. <laughs> no, that's definitely a kobold. I turn to leave. Behind me, I hear the mu the vendor mutter to herself. We're a short stack dragon uh, born. Ah, too young to be in love. <laughs> uh oh, ah, to be young in love again. That's two totally different sentences. Ah, you're too young <laughs> to be in love. 
<laughs> I pick up the pace. Nice smile, though. The difference between Fang's neighborhood and my apartment complex is night and day. The smell of burnt tires doesn't hang in the air. Instead, it's a mix of cedar and wet pavement. The knife in my pocket feels excessive as an officer's car passes by. Why does he have a knife in his pocket? To oh. protect himself from being knifed on the streets around his apartment. <laughs> Don't worry about uh. it. I suppose to someone who's lived here it would seem normal, but to someone from bumfuck nowhere, the suburb felt decadent. Fang's home is easy enough to find thanks to Grugel's maps images. Grugel. It's nice. Very nice, actually. Two stories tall and with an expensive, if kind of scrapped up, sports car in the driveway. I approach the home, careful to hop up the spread stones and make, the, make up the walkway in fear of trampling the well-manicured yard. At last, I'm at my destination. Fuck. Fun fact, my, uh house or my house growing up you couldn't see the street view of it because uh there the area around our street was just not allowed to be on google maps and there was never an explanation as to why wait maybe they have to agree to it and they just never did no uh i'm fairly certain it has to do with the fact that uh, mysteriously and seemingly coincidentally everyone who has ever lived next door to us had a government job Oh, that's actually... Uh, that, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. The plot I, thickens. There was a... Uh, I remember an occasion where we had to go to a swim meet that was pretty far away. It was in the morning, so we had to wake up at, like, fucking, like, 5 a.m. to get to the swim meet on time. Um, and as we were leaving, he, our neighbor at the time, uh, a windowless black van pulls up in front of his house, and he comes walking out with a briefcase handcuffed to his arm, and he gets in the van and goes away. Did you ever see him again? Yeah. <laughs> God, that that would be like a story to be telling at school if you if I ever saw that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the house is just like a house for spies. <laughs> <laughs> at least you have good protection there. Yeah. Unless they get like unless an enemy spy finds the house, then you might get. Well, thus the, the lack of Google Street View. Well, yeah, but if someone did find it, there might be a... Wait, but wouldn't that be more suspicious? Because then people could just, like, okay, let's find the streets that aren't on Google Street View. That's There's probably more than one. There's probably more than one to worry about in that regard. Yeah, but that's a, so much less space than places that are on Street View. Yeah, but it's still not practical. I'm... There can be some way to automate it, I'm sure. Anyways, before a black fan shows up here... I stand frozen on the white porch now, with the front door before me, like the ramparts of the castle. Am I supposed to knock, or text her that I'm here? Dude, that's the fucking worst. I hate every time I visit a friend, <laughs> that is my conundrum. Because knock apparently, the door. Like, that's what doors are you knock on the door, that's what doors are for. Every time, though, I'm like, door, though. am I remembering the right house? And, like, a part of me is just like, I'm gonna knock on the door of the wrong house, and... And it's the wrong person. Who cares? You go next door. Yeah. No. No. Or, because uh, I mean, uh, the flip side is you text, and if you're at the wrong house, now you're just standing there, and the person inside is going to be like, why is this person just standing in front of my door not doing anything? Well, usually I end up having the convenient excuse of being like, hey, where do I park? And having to call them and ask them that, so then they come out. Oh, yeah. Guess that works. Oh, crap. I've never done anything like this before. I've never visited someone before. I've never been to a house that isn't my own. Go with a friend to find a venue for a band, that is. Uh. Oh, hey! And they actually give us the choice. I say knock. I'm such a texter, but... Uh, you're, thinking, you're, you're thinking text? No, do what you want. Okay, uh, uh, if you do not mind, Hinkle, I'm going to say we knock. Sure. Before my and if it's a, bad, it's a bad move, it's just Anon being an idiot again. Before my knuckles reach the door, it swings open. What is this killing intent? Oh, is no. this knockoff JoJo? What? 
is this killing aura? What is this? E what is this evil, intimidating aura I sense? Oh, I can't, re can't remember if I recognize this music from last time. All right, can I be? Can I be gruff, Dad? Sure. I don't get any of the mail rolls. It's fine. You got Nazer. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, do, do you want him? Uh, no, otherwise, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <clears throat> you went on. Shit, 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 alarm, shut the fuck up right up now, please, I need to think. I, I, yeah, uh, I'm an on. P -p pleased to meet you, uh... Sir. Oh. Yes. Executioner. <laughs> My pants feel heavy and sodden. You could have the bomb right, if you I'm want, Hinkle. Now I'm doing the peace voice. Of course, of course, I'm the one. It's, fine. <laughs> it's, fine. it's, it's okay. It's reversed from our from the kids. I'm I'm Fang. You're Nazer. I'm the dad, and you're the mom. Fair enough. Honey, who is it? A dead oh, man. That's adorable. Oh, you must be a one. Jesus, that poor woman. <laughs> come in, come in, but not inside my daughter. <laughs> Wait, Shima, what do you mean by that? I'm inside anywhere near me, or my family. <laughs> the petite tarot matriarch drags me into her abode. I could see the patriarch's jaw clench as Fang's mother pushed me into the comfiest couch to ever exist. Oh, you must... you must forgive my little Lucy! Lucy? She's still getting ready for, for your dinghy! Is, is her name seriously Lucy? <laughs> oh god, I can feel iron sights on my back. While she spoke a mile a minute, I managed to catch some of the words. I ignored the latter, because this isn't a day... It isn't that! But... Wait, did she say date? Uh, she say date. It did not say date. Oh, yeah. Did she? Yeah, she. no, she did say date. Oh, oh, oh no, I thought you were saying, no, uh, no, she did say date, but Anon yeah. didn't. Yeah, he, Anon's denying it. Ah, uh, it's, uh, no trouble, ma'am. But, uh, I, I thought her name was Fang. She titters, holding a hand over her sp sly smile. She did it on purpose. Little too sorry, I hope she loves to reinvent herself. Her eyes gloss over as she's pulled into her own memories. One moment she was the prettiest princess pirate, and now she's some sort of rock and roll maestro. She used to be Cutlass. No, she was much better than Cutlass. <laughs> the imagination she has! I gotta remember the voice! Somebody! I look across the coffee table to see Nacer reclined in an equally plushy couch. Hey, Gert. I breathe deeply, collecting my scrambled thoughts into a semi coherent state. I'm good. So, uh. Nice place. I look at the walls of the room. What little white I could see that wasn't covered by the myriad of family photos. Huh. She really was a princess pirate at some point. <laughs> Sweet! Raptor Jesus on the cross! Oh. Is that a sin to think about what that cross hung behind Nacer's head? What? I look back to see the cream queen of the Kremlin, a tray of the smallest cups I've ever seen in her arms. I don't care if that's pronounced Kremlin, I was making it rhyme. Yeah. Nathan, your mother made us some tea! Oh, isn't she just the most wonderful woman? She's like a smaller version of me, and older! <laughs> <laughs> uh, she knows I'm not a fan of those hot leaf juice. I hear you say such a thing! Naomi navigates around the couch and coffee table, setting the tray of treats on tea before us. Would you like some, Anna? 
I'll pass, thanks. I'm sorry, it wasn't a request! Oh no. And she just shoves a penny for it. <laughs> Something's not right with what just happened. I look back to where Naomi was standing. I think we should have texted. The entire opposing wall is covered in various hunting trophies. Two bears, a whole school of fish, a falcon, two deers, and a rhinoceros. <laughs> I did it all with my bare hands. I may have made a huge mistake. The love seat to the left of me scrapes forward into my field of view. Thanks, <laughs> Father leads back, carefully examining and polishing a golf club. Fine. Maybe I could turn his trophies into a conversation piece. Extend an olive branch, so to speak. What gun did you use to hunt these? You, yeah, you ask, so do you hunt? Gun. Because <laughs> they could just be something he bought. My hands folded to my lap, and I stare a million yards into the wall clock ahead of me. So, Anna, was it? You a big fan of golf? You a golfer, son? Nazer dons a similar pose. I've played mini golf before. I'm going to just say that. <laughs> you you cut out a little start. there. That's a good start. A good start. Nothing beats the real thing, though. You ever play golf before, boy? Don't say we golf, don't say we golf, don't say we golf. N no, not on a proper green before. Nailed it. Well, this is my favorite club right here. A nine iron. Send a ball over a hundred yards or a human head about twenty. He finishes polishing the head of the club and rotates it ever so slightly, so I see my reflection in the metal. Now, these are by far the most common and most useful of your standard club set. Yeah, weird chunks to be your favorite. Anywhere you need an extra push, the iron will come through in a pinch. His gaze makes it from the club to me as he lays it across his lap. I gulp and sink back into the couch in an attempt to hide among the cushions. Uh, of course, this is all due to the solid steel construction and your own efforts, of course. With the right quality club and technique, you can almost feel the ball cleaving in twain when you strike it. Cracked like an egg. And I assure you, and on, that my equipment is of the highest quality and my technique is Let's go back to the hunting. Fag's father stands up, stepping on top of the sturdy coffee table. His club is lined up, and I can see my reflection in the prompt two ball. With well-practiced motions, he demonstrates a perfect swing in the middle of the living room. Let's not break something. Just the idea. I could, practically, I could practically feel the air slice in half as an image of the impossibly large pterodon standing over me with the club flashes momentarily. Fang's father laughs heartily, setting the murder tool aside as he reclaims his throne. Fang's father flinches. How many times have I told you about intimidating suitors? This is the first boy our little tooth fairy has brought home. More intimidating, I'm just making small talk. <laughs> what about Reed? The father shrunk under the patented mother's leer. You know that boy isn't right, dear. I can't disagree with that. That boy just ain't right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that boy ain't right. This boy, boy is not correct. Right. That child isn't correct. This young adolescent <laughs> male is not of the proper breed. 
This young male is flawed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a smidgen of sympathy, but keep quiet to avoid similar treatment from her. Oh my god, mom, not in front of my friends! I couldn't help but notice how obvious the dad's tone is sexual. <laughs> I what mean... <laughs> I guess some people could be into that. Sexual? If he tries anything with my daughter, I'll try it first with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my god. That, that is one I... way to definitely scare off a suitor. <laughs> I think that needs to be, like, when I have children, that needs to be my go-to threat. You want the calf, you gotta go through the pool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that is the biggest power move you could probably play. <laughs> the question- I'm not involved in this family! The question is, if they play along with it, where does it go from there? Aha, uh -huh, joke's on you, I'm into that shit. <laughs> Well, then we'll have a good time. Fag is at the foot of the stairway, frustration clear on her face. I look to Fang with hands clasped together, silently pleading. Oh, are you ready for your date now? I lurch in my seat at that. Uh, n nah, nah. We're just... No, no, we, we just need to find a venue is all we're going out for. You just you two, though. Oh, God, no. Please, Raptor Jesus, I'll promise I'll sacrifice a goat if you end this. Why do we have a double date, then? It'll be so fun. Well, wow, that's the worst idea. God, why have you abandoned me? Buddha, be a bro, please. <laughs> Please, merciful Vishnu, come down and save me! Okay, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> I agree! Nays are they only can accompany you! I am going to personally commit mass deicide. He looks me nope. dead in the eyes. No funny business. More people means you're less likely to do something reckless after all. I take Kali. Oh, that's like the one of the many uh, Hindu gods. Please, merciful Stego Allah, come down <laughs> and deliver divine retribution. Whenever I hear Kali, I just think of the uh, Munchkin card. It's Kali, but it's spelled C O L L I E. And yes, it is a dog with many arms and swords. <laughs> oh, no. Think they would appreciate. Come here, boy. Fang's father puts his arm around Naser's shoulders and pulls him aside. <laughs> you love going with your brother, right, Fang? Absolutely not. I'm perfectly able to find somewhere to play without anyone's help. Especially his. Oh, no. Oh, well... Mm, poor choice of words, but anyway, how many no. opportunities in your youth? He fucking wishes. He fucking wishes! Why? Why you gotta be deep like this? How many opportunities in your youth will you get to come now? Sorry. How many opportunities in your youth will you get to spend all the time together like this? I sure I can come at any stage in life. Hopefully none. You used to always spend time with your little names. Oh, I love the sway in as she's reminiscing. Her eyes gloss over again. Like all those times you used to bathe together. That's not hot. No. <laughs> huh? uh, um, 
Mom! I don't know if it's cutting out, but Mom! It is. Fuck! Fake. Not cutting out, Mom! <laughs> Fake's father gives a loud pat on Nacer's back, and he returns to the conversation. Yeah, I think a group date is an excellent idea. We should all go together. Nacer shaking like a leaf in a monsoon in the middle of an earthquake with a meteor hanging overhead. It's not happening. It is. <laughs> Fang and her dad lock eyes. The tension in the room mounts as the stare down draws on. You're not powerful enough to accept me yet, daughter. The moment long eternity finally ends, though. Eventually, Fang, Fang flops her head back in defeat. Bye! I Fine. really don't think that's how that was intended to sound. Fine. Good enough. Let's just get, let's just get out of here, Anon. Gladly. Naomi gives a little cheer <laughs> and tugs the still catatonic Nazer by the arm out the door. It's me next. I give a polite goodbye to Fa uh, I give a polite goodbye to Fang's mother. I extend a hand to Fang's father and. The eight bones of my palm are squeezed together, being ground into dust under the immense strength. Good handshake to you. The five bones joining my fingers to my palm threaten to splinter from the powerful grip. The rest of my bones and my hand try to separate from the vicious shake that Fang's father ends it with. By the time I get outside... What breathing is there in this world, I wonder? Ooh, Good question. No. I, I assume there isn't a reason uh, multiple species couldn't breed together, because it's clearly they're all uh, some sort of mammalian. True. By the time I get outside, everyone is getting into the fancy and beat-up car from before. Guess it was Nazer's. Come on, Nazer! The day is still young! Nazer, still mentally fried, is being goaded by Naomi into driving into driving to the city. Eventually, he robotically enters the driver's seat. Naomi ecstatically shoots into the shotgun sheet seat. Shotgun! Shotgun, I called it! You can't have it! Fang and I take the back seats. It's hot. Now that we're getting the shit show on the road, I should probably clarify with Fang about what precisely what sort of venue she wants. The split second I move my hand towards Fang to ask, Nacer chucks his jacket between us with lightning speed. Whoops! Look out back there! <laughs> the look of pants shitting fear on his face betrays his jovial tone. Poor guy. Can't he just speak up and say, no one said this was a date? No, yeah. well, the mom was saying it. Well, okay, no one who actually I mean, Fang, decides Fang, that. Fang straight up said it wasn't a date, but no one's buying it. A anyways, Fang. She looks over. What a sort of place are we supposed to be looking for? Fang looks away for a minute with a finger under the end of her beak. Is that supposed to be a thinking pose? Okay. Some wide-open space where people can stand or sit. I mean, that sounds like a venue. Preferably with a mosh pit. Oh, I know lots of places like that! Where? Is that a hole in their windshield? Yes. Okay. <laughs> They're at the Goldburn Galleria in the downtown shopping district! No. N-O. Why is it up? Why, Why ever it? not? not going to play around in the ritzy area. The rich. There's more stuck-up assholes there than at school. That's gross. Assholes stuck up right in the air. <laughs> sniffing their own farts through their own assholes. I was thinking, like, stuck, sticky assholes, like... 
They owe me Shrelix and shirts back to Nacer. In that case, we should just park in the middle of the city and work our way around! Sure, that's fine. What do you think, Anon? I look at- I don't think. <laughs> I look at Fang. She's preoccupied with watching the buildings fly past us. I shrug. Right then, to the city we go! Don't worry, Anon, I remember how poor you are. If you need us to buy anything, you just let us know. I, I don't need anything bought for me. Naomi turns the radio on, shattering my ears with the most nauseatingly upbeat love song on max volume. Not so poor, his back door is also an entrance! Oh no. <laughs> Okay, just because I have- I, yes, I have one door to my apartment, but still. Have you ever heard the term gay for pay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm left to wretch as the song violates my virgin ears with this too cheery tune. He hasn't had ear sex, what a loser. In the city proper now, I find myself with a new dilemma. The group slowly makes its way down the sidewalk. Nacer walks ahead and continues to look back at me, his expression anxious and worried. Fang refuses to speak and gives everyone and everything a vicious sneer. And Naomi just... Won't. Naomi just. Shut the fuck up. God, this mar- God, this marmorite no. monster needs to die! No, this is my stream now! <laughs> oh no! No, she's growing sentient! I'm going to give your thoughts in on their mind now! Oh, I'm the streamer! It, it, God. I, I'm sorry, that's also attractive to me. <laughs> what, what, just her taking really, over your thoughts? Really, yeah. God, this marmorite monster needs to die. She's growing too powerful. Naomi stops the ground before a large glass window. Past it is a large open room sparsely filled with minuscule round tables with candelabra set atop them. Kill me now. It's not a bit too, uh... Ostentatious? Yachty. No! Way! It's wide open! The tables can be arranged to provide an ample room for your audience! Ample. Fang looks unimpressed. I'm unimpressed. Come on, let's go ask! Alright, it's just, there you. she is taking things over. God, that's annoying. That, that's annoying. If she said no, then... I... Ah. She's just trying to help. She's just being helpful. The Sorolophilus... Sorolophus wraps her arms Para, around... Parasorolophus. Sorolophus wraps her arms around Nazar's, around Nazar's and bodily drags him to the entrance. Okay. Not literally. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Rain. <laughs> $10, dollars we get kicked out. No deal. You're stating an inevitability, not a possibility. It's a sucker's bet. We follow behind the pair to find Naomi pestering the maitre d' for possible arrangements, cringing as the poor man just stares off into the middle distance while Naomi prattles on obliviously. Dinner ticket option for the maitre d looks towards us, or rather Fang, and scowls. Our esteemed establishment caters exclusively to those with an appreciation for fine culture, culinary, and otherwise. Might I recommend that you vacate the premises at once, or will you be requiring an escort? Well, that sounds lovely. You get escorts here. <laughs> I don't think she meant that kind of escort. Where's my ten bucks? Up your ass. I told you no deal. Literally, check up your ass. I bet it's there. I know you can't afford a wallet. <laughs> I, I have a wallet. Duct tape, but it's a wallet. A skin wallet. <laughs> Ugh. Your pockets don't qualify as a wallet, Anna. Hmm. Nazer tugs a bit at Naomi's arm, and she stomps back to the entrance in a huff with him following. Sure, 
sure. Be mad. <clears throat> Don't be mad, Naomi. He isn't worth getting upset about. Nah, he's worth it. If they were me in the band, they'd have one less tire on all their cars. Nacer raises. Nacer raises an eyebrow back at Fang. She responds with a smirk and a middle finger. Either their tires or their own kidneys. <laughs> Wait, kidneys? We go hard. Do people have knees? <laughs> <laughs> We've been searching for a place for at least two hours now. Fang is barely holding herself together, judging from her angry muttering. A lot of muttering, mostly including words like murder, knives, and particular genitals as pincushions, with profanity taking up a good half of what escaped her beak. I could see a blood vessel throbbing on her temple. This didn't look good. That was Naomi actually trying to be nice and empathetic to Fang. I could see that, yeah. or her not yeah, wanting to admit she's wrong. Annoying. No, I mean, she's that's that's just Naomi is overbearing, but she's genuinely nice. She just wants to help people. She just isn't always aware that she uh, is a little too much sometimes. And I, 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 I do think people are generally too critical of people trying to be nice and end up being overbearing but fucking hell when someone says no and you still continue that's that's a, a new level of annoying especially when like it's actively disrupting your plan I could see a blood vessel throbbing on her temple this didn't look good urge to kill rising I, posi I position myself slightly behind Fang putting her between me and Naomi hey Naomi I got an idea Naomi spins on her heel towards the sound of my voice, and the giant grin on her stupid snout stiffens as she sees Fang's looming aneurysm. Maybe we should take a little break! Luckily, there's a small park nearby. The four of us grab some drinks from a vending machine. Fang and I grab a knockoff brand of soda. Naomi got a bottle of water. And Nacer bought a sports spot Nacer sports bought a sports drink. drink. I got a sports drink! <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how I got tripped up on that. We're lucky to find an unoccupied picnic table with some shade, because the afternoon sun has turned the cool day into a sweltering hot one. Thank you, coastal weather. We sit in near silence from Nazer's audible chugging of his sports drink. He crushes the bottle in one hand and tosses it into the trash, a fi tosses it into a trash can five yards away. Then looks to us with the smuggest grin to ever be seen on a beak. <laughs> Show off. Yeah. Great shot, Nazer! Of course it was, babe. Fang mock wretches into the grass. <laughs> At any rate, uh, I need to drain the snake. Oh, let me help you! Those guys can be so dangerous! What? To both. Nacer <laughs> <laughs> turns and gives a brief wave back to us and makes his way to the public restroom on the other side of the park. He picks up a lot of boomerisms from Dad. Ah, oh, his double entendres are always so clever! Fang slaps a hand over her eyes. I need to go too. Why? Something the matter? You don't have a snake to dream? Monthly problems. That's not a thing. Do you have everything you need? I can provide anything you need! I have some extra stocked! Have regular plastic season? Sorry, right, you don't, you don't get to have extra season and period. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, what's it? Oh, what's your diameter? Shut up. Now. <laughs> no, I need to know the exact dimensions of your vagina, otherwise none of my tampons will fit. Go away. <laughs> Fang stops way to the bathroom, leaving just the apricot ass pain. Do, do you need tampons, Adam? 
And me. No, no, please don't ever ask me that again. I mean, you could do other things with them. What? 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 what would you do? What else would you do with them? You could put them in your bleeds. Do you need to use the restroom as well, Emma? Do you need help? How tempting. They're using the bathroom, not the help part. Well, no, now that you mention me. it, I... This is just the two of us I've been wanting to ask for a while. How have things been going with Fang? Has she been well? Is there anything wrong? Shouldn't Nazer know? She... Does she bleed a lot? Um, what? what? <laughs> yes, Nazer knows, but I thought I'd figure I'd ask you as well. I'm oh, concerned, what does he know now? <laughs> He knows she, she he knows she's a heavy bleeder. His siblings and all this is normal. <laughs> Since the two of you spent so much time together and all. No, see, I could get that being normal. What's not normal is you knowing. Oh, Nazer tells me everything. Maybe Fang only goes to the bathroom once a month. <laughs> I hear Nazer talking all the time about how worried he is for Fang. He's such a good brother, isn't he? I'm just going to start filtering her. I just get so worried for her sometimes, too. Fang can be so antisocial, you know? And she's always avoiding me. I don't know why, I just want to share my tampons with her when she needs it. <laughs> Isn't that what good friends do? I can never get a read on how she feels. Like when she was feeling upset a month or so ago. Or just after that concert she gave after winter break. Wait. Rewind a bit. How'd you know about how Fang felt sad a month ago? Oh, Nazer told me! The fuck is up with her? Then why ask me? You keep on asking that question! You keep on dodging that question. Fang clearly doesn't like you. You say so yourself. Yet you keep asking me about her. When you can just go to Nazer. Fang is his sister, after all. Uh, of course! It's just that I'd like to hear it from you about her! Why me, though? I don't know anything about her. Nazer knows Fang way better than I do. Because you two have been getting so close! You're even on a date right now, Anna! Naomi's pupils dilate, and her eyes dance away from me. In fact, you two make the cutest couple! <laughs> Except not really, haha! <laughs> it's the first time Naomi's looked anything other than happy. Are you up to something? Why would I ever be up to something? Because you're not making any sense. Nazer knows her better than anyone else. But every time we talk, you bring Fang up. Why? I have every reason to care! Why? Because... Why? Because Nazer wants to make Fang happy! And so do I, of course! <laughs> Naomi's laugh is hollow. Her eyes shifting side to side. I was only doing what I thought was best for both her and you, Anna. Wait. First time I saw you sitting on your own on that dirty old bench. You looked like you needed someone to lean on. No. And with Fang. I think back to all the times that the beige bitch had asked me about Fang. What a great opportunity for real friendship, Anon! I'm so happy for you! 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 If there's anything Fang needs in these trying times, it's a new friend to talk to! to but how? I mean, what, what could she have done to direct them together? 
uh, probably made them sit next to each. Maybe she arranged the seating arrangements in uh, science to get with. No, because that was just teaming up with partners. I don't know how she because uh, the partners thing. Everybody else was just teamed up already, and it just happened to be coincidence, or was it? This entire time. Wasn't that Nazer's sister? How wonderful that you're making friends, Anon. 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 Tell me everything. What were you and Fang talking about? About. About. I want to know all about it. Fuck. How didn't I notice? Naomi places a finger on her chin for a moment and stares into space. Suddenly, her face lights up. Oh! What if you asked Fang for help? I'm sure she'd lend a hand. 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 There's that. <laughs> I don't know. She's usually busy with her own work, and I don't want to bother her more than I already do every day. 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 You can't have to ask, though, right? Just a thought. 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 That fucking bitch! This entire time, she's been pushing me closer to Fang. Barely. Like, that's such a... Also, goddamn, she's trying to push you to make friends. What a horrible fucking... Yeah, this is such an overreaction. I must yeah, be well, the... Anon... No, go on. Anon's just kind of fucking antisocial, so maybe he's like, Oh my god, you forced me to get close to somebody. You... Yeah. yeah. She just kept bringing up Fang, getting Fang into his mind. What's, what, what's the term for that? Just, uh, uh, psychological warfare? No, just, like, constantly repeating, so eventually, like, they think it's their own idea or something. Uh, not brainwashing, but subtle suge uh, there's a word for it, it's like a- I guess just, like, maybe just subliminal, right? subliminal messaging? Subliminal, yes, yeah, subliminal messaging. I guess that's the closest. I must be the biggest fucking idiot. Uh, Anna, you've been spacing out! She played me like a goddamn fiddle. Did I miss something? I look to Nazer, who's completely clueless to what Naomi has been doing for the past month. Just like I was. What would he do in this situation? He's a Boy Scout here, after all. Fitting that the moral compass has a literal compass for a head. I'm part of someone else's plan. Nothing I've done in the last several months was a conclusion reached on my own. Oh, that's ridiculous. What a fatalistic point of view, Anon. Grow up. Are my feelings for Fang also just a tool for Naomi? What do I even do here? I mean, I guess, uh... Excuse no. Wait for just wait for Fang. There's no need to. I'm not no, gonna be I, a I, I, mean, I guess the if it's the love part might make it more hurtful, I suppose. But I mean, it's all happened naturally. Every single conversation. It's not like Naomi has been instigating all of yeah. these situations. She didn't like intentionally bully Fang into going up on the roof and like trying to fucking have Did a. She, though? Well, we don't know that. I mean, we don't know that, but I highly well, doubt that. I mean, actually, like her, only, we know. Her, only, her only sin so far is just trying to push Anon towards Fang because she sees two people who need friends. That's I mean, like that seems like a very normal she reaction. She did know about Fang being sad. She did know about Fang being sad, but it's like... Uh, He's avoiding... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, so Fang was sad, but Fang wasn't talking to anybody, not even Trish. So Naomi probably, you know, didn't realize... You know, it's not like Naomi would have tried to talk to Fang because Fang wasn't in a good mood and wasn't talking to anybody. So it's like, it's just, I don't see what Naomi's at fault here for. I feel like it's an extreme, like, Anon in general is just very, very critical of Naomi in a way that, like, I understand sometimes she's a little bit annoying with the, uh, like you said, the pushing and pushing even when she says no, but this part is just, she was just quite literally trying to get two people who were needing friends to, you know, maybe uh, be friends with each other. I don't know. Don't bully Naomi. She doesn't deserve it. I would say, okay, as far as the decision goes, I would say wait for Fang. Ankle? What? Um, yeah, wait for Fang. No. It doesn't matter if my feelings are being used. They're still real to me. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, it's all real to you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop ranting about it, but I was just that was an extreme. I thought that was an extreme. Yeah, reaction. I mean, I guess it makes sense for a person who hasn't really felt love before to. And maybe it was. Maybe it was. You know. And maybe it was. Just a, is generally antisocial to be manipulated into feeling by someone else. I guess. Yeah, but it's like it's also like you said, it being like the first crush he's ever had on a girl. Maybe he feels extra protective about it. Maybe it was a emotional reaction to realizing that the first time you've been in love wasn't entirely on your doing. But I feel like is anything we really do strictly up to us? Isn't all of our decisions somehow influenced by some external element or another? Yeah. Well, well that's just giving up control now. Come on. But no, I mean that's that's a yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We all make our own choices, but we shouldn't feel like the choices we make aren't ours just because they were. Uh, Everything is just part of a long string of cause and effect. That's a way of looking at it. And I actually want to help her. Right now, that means helping her find a venue, even if it means being around the coral cunt. Jesus, take a chill pill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Naomi, did you did you know that the thirteen percent of public restrooms? What is he gonna say? <laughs> Naser babbles with Naomi while we wait for Fang to return. All right, I'm done taking a dump or whatever. Hmm. Let's go. On a way to walk back. See? see, like I said, she only goes to the bathroom once a month. Oh, wait, that's right. I said monthly problems. <laughs> wait, why do you smell like smoke? Uh, I went to Hong Kong for a bit. Let's go. You know, you ain't supposed to be smoking, Fanny. I just went to Detroit for a little second, okay? Just drop it, dork. <laughs> just drop it, dorkosaurus. You don't see me bringing up that leopard mankini you have in your closet. Oh, God. <laughs> Dacer skin turns a noticeably lighter shade. That the only thing in the closet? Oh, of fucking of course not. He also got this pink. I'm gonna stop you right there. Why? Why haven't you shown those to me before? Why don't we <laughs> sure he has. <laughs> oh. Yes. Why don't we continue on now? Naomi is holding a handkerchief to her nose with a prominent splotch of red that's steadily growing. Oh, just like my Japanese animes. <laughs> uh. Finally. That's hot. Not even ten minutes later, and we're back where we started. Fang seems seconds away from a successful recreation of Jin Ki's assassination of King Zen. Wow. I don't know what that means. I know it's wrong to poke a hornet's nest, but... Fang, y'all right? <laughs> I hate everyone here. Even... Everyone. Oh. Everyone. Ah. Uh. Well then. Fang's about to commit homicide. I should ask Naser to just split off for a while. Naomi would back me up if I can convince her I'm taking Fang out on a di event. Event. I really don't want Naomi's help, though. I could get Fang to ask Naser to break it off, but... She's on the verge of fratricide, too, right now. Hey, in on you, all right? Hmm. You got this intense look on you. Oh, sorry. Just mm, trying to think of good places. Guess it's now or never. Uh, question. Ask Nazer for helping to break things off. Uh, maybe. 
Na I think maybe asking Nazer is the right choice because he's clearly been under order. Like, I think Nazer is the difficult element here in breaking off because he's under order from his father not to make, yeah. to make sure there's no funny business. I, I mean, yeah, if you're ever going to break off, it's going to be because Nazer chooses for it to happen. But I don't even know if he will. But I mean, I guess I ask him. It's our only hope. You're not going to get anywhere by with Fang. She already wants to break off. Yeah. Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, you just got a message. I would suggest saving here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, ask Nazer. Actually, Nazer. <clears throat> Nazer slows his gait, so he's walking next to me. Something on your mind? Shh, Leomo brothers. Shh. I lean in and start whispering. Yeah. It may be a good idea to split into groups. Hey, <laughs> you're funny. Nazer's brow gr grows slick with sweat. Christ, what did his dad tell him? This is gonna be difficult. Take a look at her, man. You know she doesn't get along with Naomi. His eyes shift back, catching sight of Fang's poorly withheld anger. It's only a matter of time before th before things go nuclear. As much as I find a cat fight amusing, neither of us want to see Fang and Naomi duke it out. Speak for yourself. Hmm. That's your sister, though, bro. Be that as it may. Hey, they took baths together. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot split up. I'm supposed to be keeping an eye on you two right now. What are we whispering about? I like to whisper! Raptor, this Jesus, fuck! Naomi has circled around behind us and pokes her head between Nazer and I. Uh, don't worry about it, babe. And I uh, just wanted to split the group for a bit. Bars. Oh, that's a wonderful idea! I love it! But, babe, you know I'm supposed to... I think you should trust Anon a little bit more. Do you really think I'm the frisky type? Nazer yes. looks... Nazer looks at me for a moment. Yes. Wow. It's true. I mean... A. Go fuck yourselves. And B. I'm not some degenerate. And C. It's not a date. <laughs> well, despite his looks, the Anon I know won't, do it, won't end up doing anything lewd. Despite his looks. Just, what's that supposed Despite to mean? Oh my god, we got that dirty jacket on that clearly has cum stains on the inside. It makes me a little nervous. Wait, wait, ho hold up. How are you seeing the inside of my jacket? Oh, I have my ways. I have my ways. You really think so? You promise to not make it weird or anything, right? You're making it weird. It wasn't even a date. <laughs> You're making it weird. Uh, I, uh, what? Whatever. No, no, of course not. We have settled then. Let's split up, gang, and look for clues. Come on, Nazer. We'll go look at the east side of town. East side. All right. I trust you, Anon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Naomi grabs Nazer by the arm and leads him around a corner and onto another street. Nazer gives one last worried look back before he's out of sight. What were the three of you huddling about? What was she loudly whispering about? Fang was walking behind us the whole time? I didn't notice. I forgot she was here. Asshole. 
Ah, I was just getting rid of them. Oh man, you are a lifesaver. Seems like it was either this or someone ends up with a black eye. Do you think I'd stop at a black eye? A black <laughs> guy? <laughs> now it's just the two of us. You think I'd stop at a black guy? <laughs> I got knives for a reason. Hello. But, I mean... I feel like you could have just told Naomi to shut the fuck up. That also. I mean, it's just one of... If you're annoyed at Naomi, rather than just constantly thinking she's a bitch and just basically thinking bad thoughts about her all day, fucking communicate! Yeah. I mean, I she kind of seems like the type that wouldn't shut up still. Yeah, well, you know, no one's tried. No one's fucking given a shot. <laughs> no one has tried. <laughs> yeah, no one has tried. You know, that is up, a fair point. No, no one has fucking tried. I absolutely feel like I couldn't. I mean, I'm a very different person from Anne on here, but I feel like I couldn't bridge the gap a little bit here. I mean, so you know, I just, that it is a very good point, because like, also we saw the fan gang just run from Naomi in the lunchroom when they saw her. Yeah. So, so, yeah, no, one, no one's tried to tell her to shut up. I, um, but, I mean, I could have just, like, after the first restaurant, I've been like, Naomi, clearly anything you suggest automatically becomes something Fang doesn't want. So just stop. <laughs> you're making, you're actively making things worse. Now it's just the two of us. Alone. Oh, there's the alarms again. I think I'm finally starting to tune them out, though. Yeah, there they go. That's my life right there. That's... I never pay attention to my alarm. Oh, I get to see these scenes in full finished art. Fang reaches into her pocket and withdraws a crumpled pack of cigarettes. A crumpled Reason pack of cigarettes. Reason not be in the Fang. I don't know. Personally, I don't they smoke are. and I really don't like smoking. But it's just Instant a look normal. that just there's just something to it. That I just Absolutely like the look. Disgusting. You know, it's a, it, might, it might be Sanji, but I think smoking looks cool. I don't want to smoke. Uh, I, I am Make not a smoker. It's terrible. I mean, a heavy Maybe. smoker, I would say no. But if it's light enough, it's it looks just, cool. In, it looks cool in anime. It, it, it's just off-putting in every imaginable way. Oh, I I know, but when a girl's doing it. No, especially when a girl's doing it. Honestly, I was going to pop. I was considering following that up by saying, "Almost cool when a guy's doing it," but not especially when a girl is smoking. It's just, it's just the worst thing imaginable. Hmm. Got a spare? Imagine kissing that disgusting fucking mouth. Why you don't have a mouth? I would love to imagine kissing kissing that disgusting snoop. You're, you're, you're not helping your argument, man. All the, all the literal tar in that mouth now? It's still Snoop, bro. She probably brushes her teeth. Doesn't help. She shrugs half-heartedly, holding out the pack to me. There's one left. I hesitate. Fang tilts her head. Before she can pull her hand back, I accept the last smoke. The guy's got to have a leather jacket to make it look cool. That also helps. If they he's got the biker look. He's just got a slimy green one. Poor yeah. Anon. If, if he just takes a sharpie and colors it black, he'd, he'd be fine. <laughs> I wonder how well that would work. I mean, if you took enough time to really color it in, you could probably make it work. The texture-wise, it, it wouldn't look like leather at all, but it'd be a nice black jacket. I bring the butt to my lips. Feeling the pod within the filter. Oh, I'll bring her butt to my lips. Yes, I would rather eat her ass than kiss her at this point. Why not both? Why not both? I think I feel like eating her ass would be more healthy for you. I figure she smoke menthols. Shut up. You better share. I don't think I'll don't I don't think I'll be getting a fresh pack anytime soon. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised you didn't bring this up, Hinkle, when she dropped out the pack of cigarettes on the rooftop. Yeah, but at least well, Spears spat it out then. He just like, <laughs> chewed up the entire cigarette and spat it out. Onto some poor teacher's car. She hands me her lighter. A little cheap pink bick. 
It's quick and easy. No wind to no wind to worry about as my thumb rolls over the top, and the tiny ember of a flame sears the end of the cigarette. I pop the pod with my incisor and pull in slowly. The draw is smooth, with a hint of mint to it. The cherry at the end burns dimly as I tap off the ash. The smoke exhaled is wispy, and I can feel my nerves ease. Addiction, yay! See. It's your last one. Want to savor it? I hand her back savoring the cigarette. It. Imagine savoring a cigarette. It's not an indirect kiss or anything like that. A chance of mantra. Her drag is harsher, burning up twice the out. See, Hinkle out, that just, it just looks like a cool look. It doesn't at all! How could you not like that? There's smoke coming out of her! Yeah, like a just dragon! Like a, dra like a dragon, yeah, I was just about to say. I don't know, smoke, I, I've never I've never kissed a smoker before, but it does look cool. I mean, she, it reminds me of a sneeze! I mean, to be fair though, she's kind of could pull off any look in my opinion. More, a sneeze would be less disgusting! I don't, I don't know. Her drag is harsher, burning up twice the amount. See, that's how it's done. She blows out hazy rings, one after another, as if signal signaling an indigenous raptor tribe. Trying to show off now. Bet you can't do it. I can do Seriously, it Seriously, my, my, my nose is quite, my, my beak is quite literally built for this. I don't think you can do it with your human mouth. Hot. I, uh... You can do that underwater. Oh, uh, little bubble rings? Yeah. Fane grins as she sticks the hit as she hands the stick back to me. You trigger lipped it. Still good, man. The filter feels moist between my index and middle knuckles. I bring the smoke back to my lips, trying to ignore the wetness of it. I love the smug look on her face. Just waiting for me to screw up. I draw in even more, bringing up another quarter of it. I can feel my skin prickle as I exhale, exhale a thicker fog. I don't know whether it's because of the nicotine or whose lips I imagine I taste. I mean, imagine putting on someone else's mask. Well, I mean, if it's a girl you like, I wouldn't have any issue with that. Ah! It's an indirect, it's like it's just, it's an indirect kiss. I like that. I, guess I mean, assuming they're not, like, coughing and hacking to make the inside of the mask disgusting. Nah, they've been sneezing in their mask all day, and then you put it on. I mean, that's... Okay, that, that's a little That's, gross, that's very that's different just, from, a, from smoking, That's disgusting though. than what's in that cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad. Have you seen, like... There, there's videos of, like, just, like burning a cigarette like into a tube and then like the awful yellow disgusting shit that becomes a tube as, as a result like a clear is a clear plastic tube and like just like, I, I mean yeah i know the inside of it is disgusting i've seen all of the psa's when i was yeah, growing up i mean I, I i've seen there some of those a, i've lived is, with smokers very 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 heavy bad I, smokers i i will i will admit i don't really like the smell of smoke uh i don't really no actually like, I I do I, like I've, I've, I've learned to it. tolerate it i've learned to tolerate it i don't really like the smell of smoke but i certainly uh like the image of smoking it just looks cool I actually like the smell oh. of cigarettes. I uh, my grandfather smoked a lot, so I was around it a lot. But okay, um, for me, my only experience with it was at like really smoky bars where it was like. Well, uh, I guess I would also say, uh, for in your opinion, would smoking straight tobacco be better, or would you still find that as disgusting as a cigarette? I feel like tobacco. That's interesting. Um, I feel like tobacco uh, has to be tobacco different. in general is disgusting. I mean, have you seen the shit chewing tobacco does to you? Well, no, no, I'm saying, like, chewing tobacco is still going to be, you know, there's not just tobacco in there. I'm saying, like, if someone just took tobacco leaves and made their own cigarettes, would you still find that disgusting? What if we just chewed the whole cocoa plant? I mean, oh. people do that. I, um... I don't know. I think it would still be pretty gross. I mean, smell-wise, probably, I mean, but you don't have any of that other being nasty. Being able to see the gas coming out of a person. 
Well, I mean, so you, <laughs> do, like, do you have a problem when it's cold out? Yes, actually. I, 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 I don't understand why. <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> How dare you be warmer than the temperature outside? Well, I mean, I'm not, like, grossed out by the person, but I'm also not, like, actively trying to inhale that air that I just saw come out of them. Well, I mean, if you stand, if you stand by near a person, you're gonna breathe in some of the air they just breathed out. Yeah, but I can, I have, there's plausible deniability until I'm able to see it. That's fair. Anyways, fuck. Fuck. Ha, <laughs> called it. Hmm, yeah, I can't. Need to have a cylindrical beak, man. See, look at that, look at that face! That smoking's awesome! <laughs> God, smoking's awesome, kids! Any kids walking this stream, go out and buy a pack of cigarettes <laughs> right now, or unless you want to be a loser. I can't imagine. Go out and smoke anything. See, that, this is labeled as not for kids, so there shouldn't be any kids around, so we could say all this stuff we want. Oh. <laughs> But I can't smoke. smoke feeling anything more than neutral about smoking. Like, are you smoking I, yet? I can see being okay with smoking. I can't. Like, how, what is cool? Like, what? What? What's cool here? I don't understand. Like, it's it's nothing. It, 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 At it, best, it's well, nothing. I well, I think it's still close to winter time, so it's pretty cool. It's like yeah. you're breathing fire. That's what looks cool. I mean, I will. I will admit. Probably just my preference for Fang might be overriding, but still in general, I do see you know some picks of just you know a game character or like Shima said, you know you get anime characters or characters and stuff. They just look awesome smoking. I I I I, I, I want to bring up again. Sanji pulls it off. Yeah, like there's just well, I guess they're probably designed in that way that oh yeah they're they're gonna smoke so some of the designs worked around that. Honestly, if anything, it, to me, it looks pathetic. Would but you like, rather have him smoking a lollipop like in Four Kids? I, I, yeah, I, I, I think a lot of shit in Four Kids like, as well. I, think, so I thought the Sanji lollipop was one of the fucking funniest things. The, the things that come to though. mind for me are like coming off the bus in high school and the kids who would get off the bus and immediately whip out a cigarette. Like, they were clearly spending however long that bus ride was just thinking about maybe even longer that day just thinking about the next time they could smoke a cigarette just yeah. like, I, well, I, to, like to be i definitely felt like being addicted to like i think an addiction to anything in general is bad and cigarettes is uh, well, particularly i, I mean that's about, just an interesting point because to be fair if they smoke on the bus they'd be caught and also they could just be being courteous by not giving making a cloud for everyone else to inhale no, obviously, yeah. No, I'm not saying. No, the pathetic yeah, part. Yeah, I do see Timber's point. I do see Hinkle's point, though, because if they were, they did it as soon as they were off the bus. The first second they had the opportunity, they take it. They could uh, wait until okay, in that point. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying like oh, it was pathetic of them for doing it here. No, I'm just saying like they were thinking about it all day. Like their their mind is consumed by this action. I think about like my when I go to a bar with my friends, a couple of them smoke, and then like. You know, we're all having a good time talking, and then that person has to now interrupt our conversation. I mean, interrupt the co his own fun time. Interrupt his own fun time because now he has to go fuel his addiction. God, I actually I feel that. I used, to have a a friend. I used to have a friend. I don't hang out with him much anymore. But when we were hanging out all the time, we were like playing video games. Like I swear to God, it was like once every forty-five minutes minimum. Uh, he would say, hey, man, mind if I go outside and have a smoke? And we would go outside and smoke for... I would watch him smoke for 10 minutes. And then we yeah. would go back inside and play video games, and that got obnoxious. Yeah, I mean, like, interrupt... Hit, uh, there would be days, it's fucking 10 degrees outside. And he has to go out... Now he has to go outside in the sub-freezing temperatures and smoke his cigarette. Oh, God, that's the other thing, because it was, it, was, it was winter at some yeah. of those times. And it was cold outside. It was cold as dick outside. So I definitely don't like the addictive element of mm. it. I especially like I just have the willpower to hold on for four fucking hours or something. They can't. That's the thing. They can't. I, and I, I respect that. I'm not going to tell them, yeah, just have more willpower. Uh, but I am going to think of it as pathetic because that's what it is. I do. Re and certainly, I certainly do feel pity for that sense. I do remember now uh, one time we got an old computer from a friend of a friend and the computer did just reek of cigarettes. We had to keep an air freshener next to it for about a year before the smell finally went away. Like, 
But anyway, I'm yeah. sorry to any smokers out there. Smoking is really <laughs> outrageous. I mean, people are going to have big opinions of smoking. You can't avoid that. Fang's tail ticks a steady rhythm like a metronome as she takes one last long drag. She blows out a thick cloud of smoke and drops the stump on the ground. Love Anon's dad look like that's the whole cigarette. I just smoked the whole cigarette. I just love her. I just love her pose here. It's just the flick. And I was like, oh. Anon better develop a dick stomping fetish because that's probably what you're gonna be into with that. Just the sass going here. Just look at the sad look. She's just she's taunting him. She took the last of it and threw it in front. Of, it's like the person who just eats the last skin, uh, the, the last piece of candy in a bag and then just crumples up the bag and throws so, it in front of you so, so you see it. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? The equivalent here would be the person who eats the last candy in the bag then leaves the bag where it is as if there's still something in it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna fuck me? Huh? I mean, she blows out a thick cloud of smoke and drops the stump to the ground. I stay up on the stump before she can, giving it a solid twist before kicking the dead end into the street. Ha! I got the last one. So now what? I think I know where we can look. Please tell me it's not in this shitty promenade place. Nah, it's a little true. Where? Little Trudon. It's near enough that we can walk there. Why didn't you mention it before? Naomi. Ah. Uh. Fang leads the way, navigating us away from this overly expensive part of town. Yeah, that, uh part where she was suddenly sad and pricking her own feathers and shit uh that it seemed like too much of a crescendo i guess for lack of a better way of putting it to not have been triggered by something specific what do you mean well i think i mean i'm saying that i think we're going to find out what triggered that little episode later on ah uh. Little true dies completely unlike the rest of the city. Is this supposed to be like? Also, I just, I just like, I just love the edit on this guy on the left. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like little, Chinatown, little, or something? little Chinatown, or something? Yeah, yeah a little, the, or a little the, Tokyo, a little Chinatown. Little, little lanterns up top. Little true dawn. Instead of skyscrapers and glass buildings, the whole place is a series of interconnected alleyways forming a plaza. Mostly booths for scamming vendors, but every now and then an actual building can be seen. Countless salesmen call out to Fang and I. Fang just strides past all of them. Just don't make eye contact. Don't they can smell fear. She must know the place. One child runs up and gives me a flower to mark me for pickpockets. Oh. I, I toss it in the nearest bin. Have bad experience with that Hinkle. <laughs> what? Oh no, I just didn't. I didn't think of anything. Think anything of it until he said for, to mark me for pickpockets. Ah. Good eye. Living in the ass end of this place, I've picked up a thing or two. The two of us check the sparsely located buildings one by one. I make sure to mark down the foreign swears in a notepad to look up later. <laughs> Several hours pass as both the sun and the temperature drops. And my nuts. Wait, what? <laughs> Can't believe we're still looking. People are usually looking for any way possible uh, for any possible way to attract customers. Maybe you should have insulted that one guy. Fuck him. And calling me a meteor dodger. Fuck him. <laughs> Oh no. Still, we must have checked a dozens of places by now. But why won't anyone have a band? Okay, Hinkle, here's a goi here's a guy voice for you. What manner of person be this? I'm I'm not gonna say, I'm just gonna let you guess and then maybe change when you see. 
reputation, it does precede her. Fang's people's contract. Not this again. Uh oh. Er, you people are all the same. Thinking that you have to go off. Fang. What? He's a shitlord. As you can see, her reputation does precede her. You with a knife. Choke on a platter of cocks. Everyone here knows her, especially of her family. A full platter, stacks high, dripping with hot sauce. What? What? I look at the... What? What the fuck am I looking at? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, it's, it's an Xavier Renegade Angel joke. Yes. Ah, it is, I do see that now. A, a while back, they had uh, a little art contest to give this merchant an actual character sprite, and this ended up winning. Do not good things. You cannot perceive. I can't do a good Xavier Renegade Angel. <laughs> good one. Just keep with that. No, refine You're it. Not in. Reed's uncle, then. The uncle you seek is elsewhere. What? Yes, I know of that. Which you oh so desperately seek. Wait, hold on a sec. You know a venue? Where? But first, the ritual that must be conducted. Finally, progress. No way. Tell us. Wait, what else I want? Okay, so I, I just want to take in the full spray because I'm noticing. There's no, oh, yes. there's no legs, yes, no legs, different colored sunglasses, <laughs> snake for a hand. This is just a crazy mishmash of a character. I love it. Uh, oh, you, no you legs because the character had backward legs in, in, in the oh, show. Oh, yeah. And you can't really do that normally. That's true. Tell us. Anything a way to get away from this guy. We will partake in the ancient humiliation that has slain my entire lineage. Even my own family. Off to this deadly sport before I was even born. I love that he's a protoceratops. Mongolian ceratopsians, no horns, famously fought a velociraptors. Huh. No horn. Oh, so it's a it's a triceratops, but without the horns. And I guess he's just like wearing a, a beak mask and. Oh, I thought that was a cowboy hat he had. <laughs> okay, oh, so. No, it was, a, it was a frill of. I, I recognize yeah, that. Yeah, that's how I saw it, yeah. God, just, my the, eyes are stupid. The main thing that was confusing me was the beak. So it's basically uh, just a, a pro, an ancient Triceratops ancestor. Fun. Love that he has the fanny pack to replace the cover, his crotch, in the original show. Yeah. I've never seen the original show. I've only seen that one where he debates against himself. It, Which it, is it, the best one, anyway. I, it, it's, a funny, it's a funny show. It's difficult for me to sit through sometimes. It, well, it, yeah, from, from that clip alone, it definitely seems like it has... I don't want to say absurdist humor, but it just seems like it's just an entirely level above just normal thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's when, it, 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 like, I guess the best way to describe how I f think it is, is just, it's a shitpost that transcended to profound, like, insightfulness. Level above or below normal thought, depending on how you want to look at it. I, there's also, you, you can't watch more than one episode at a time, otherwise you just become numb to it. But, uh, how many episodes are there? A fantastic episode where it's just like flashback into flashback into flashback. It like it just goes so many layers deep that you can't, it like it goes so deep into the joke. I have never seen anything go that deep into that concept of a joke before. And like you lose track of it, <laughs> but the show absolutely does keep track of it. 
Uh, the, the only flashback joke I can think of is the Sonic Boom one, where he keeps trying to go into a... Well, that's not a flashback, that's just... He keeps trying to go it's into his in. happy place to get away from the annoying fan guy, and he just keeps and going deeper and deeper place. for his, like, a happier place, an even happier place. Then an alarm goes off, he's like, oh, it wakes up to the happier place, then wakes up to the happy place, wakes up to the normal world, wakes up to the voice actor in a Sonic Got costume. Oops, went too far. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Even my own family off in this deadly sport before oh, I already said this. Ah. The humiliation is a, it's diabolically easy. A clutching of earthly currency. For as long as I can stand to hold it. And to the victorious, my own artifact holding me to this flimsy visage. A phone Roomba. A phone Roomba. Only the finest tool to clean your phone. <laughs> that absolutely sounds like something he would talk about. Here, let me show you its brushing majesty. He feels around his fanny pack for one of the Roombas, then holds his phone out in one hand. He puts the device on, and it whirs to life, slowly crossing the screen. When it reaches the edge, it beeps and turns around, making a return trip to where it started. After a few trips, the merchant turns the Roomba off and gives us an expected leer. I just used my shirt, though. The fossil I'm referencing has a protoceratops chopping down on a raptor's arm, and the raptor's claw dug into its gut, buried by a collapsing sand dune. Ooh, that's brutal. That's awesome. Man, dinosaurs just had the coolest fights and deaths. Dinosaurs were hardcore. There's no debating this. You know Japan's Edo period was badass. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. Uh, let's see, at least it's a novelty. No way am I paying 40 bucks on this shit. Uh, I would say no way I'm paying 40 bucks on this shit. Be a big sender in front of your waifu. It's an oh, easy way to earn love. Oh, that might be a good point. Okay, let's say at least it's a novelty. Let's be nice. Fuck it. Fine. I slapped down the money on Reed's Maybe Family's booth. Very well. The contest is yours, along with this trinket. At least of this filthy bazaar, and you will find your destination. At Dino Mo's. The pizza chain? You will come to understand my wisdom once you reach it. Fare thee well, seekers of musical amphitheaters. The shopkeeper gives one last smug wave to us. I like the whole time it just didn't reveal a name. Just kept it question marks. <laughs> the commas and other punctuations did a fantastic job of expressing... Uh, Xavier's the broken, uh, stuttered weird. enunciation. Yeah, For, forty bucks just basically a whole month's rent for Anon. I don't. I don't know. Would that be good or bad? I mean, that would actually be really good. But I'm just trying to say, like, he doesn't have forty bucks to spend most of the times. I'd imagine he I, he had trouble buying food in the first episode. Yeah. Well, that is true, and everyone's just been making po poor jokes. Naomi, especially. Yeah. I motioned for Fang to follow and start heading in the direction the shopkeeper showed us. After twisting through the endless maze of merchants and frivial frivialties, Fang finally stops in front of a building. Frivol friv frivolities, there we go. Yeah, that. We're here. The building is an antiquated Italian restaurant with the words Dino Mo's Pizza and Pasta written on a grand sign out front. Pizza, huh? Is Dino Mo's a real place? I don't think so. I mean, what are you talking about? Point. It's right here. A, a pizza place, huh? In the middle of Little Trudon? Let's see. $40 would be a cheap place. Yeah, but that's where you gotta think. 
the you know the you get what you pay for. Like it's cheap, but probably not hospitable to most life. Depending. No, you wouldn't. There is no imaginable place on Earth that is forty dollars a month. It would be an insane deal, forty dollars a month. I probably should have said forty. That was his entire week supply of food. All right, that that'd be better. I open the double doors for Fang to enter. There's a plaque for the National Register of Historic Places on the window. You can like rent a closet for forty dollars a month. Oh yeah, you could probably just rent like a little tiny pot or something. No, no, literally a closet. I'm talking not even a walk-in closet. Like Wait. you can literally stand in the closet, like Futurama style. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just a little tiny pod. Get in the pod. Historical, huh? Inside is the homely Italian-style pizzeria. Where's Italy, though? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is in Little Trudon. But... What is Italy? What is Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> what is Italy? This world. The warm what candle... The warm candle lighting against the lattice dividers of the booths cast shades of orange along the walls and floor. The two of us walk up to the reception desk. Reminds me of the Pokedex entry that I can't remember which one it is. I just remember it makes mention of an Indian elephant, and I just have so many questions now. Yeah, but the Pokedex entries got really weird. It's only about like having enough poison to kill an Indian elephant. And I'm just like, what's an Indian elephant in this? <laughs> it, both India and generic elephants apparently exist in the world of Pokemon. That is interesting, just because they dropped the whole normal animal look after, like, three episodes of the anime. Which, you know, gave everybody fuel for that ashes in a coma theory. Did, did, were there normal animals? Yeah, it, it, in the first few, it, basically up until Ash gets shocked, you can uh, see normal birds and normal fish. Are you sure? Yeah, that's the whole point of the theory. There's normal animals, and then after he gets shocked, you don't, like, you do really don't see any normal. animals anymore. I do remember the normal fish. I don't remember normal birds. I thought they were just pidgeys. I mean, they might have been in the distance, but... Yeah. You get the, meat, the meat in Pokemon has to come from somewhere, and I don't know if it's Pokemon. I mean, usually you see Pokedex on trees refer to Magikarp. I mean, I accept that other things aside from Pokemon exist. Mew's like, early Pokedex entry said it was found in South America. Well, I have many questions. <laughs> it's like Pokemon World is like all this Pokemon twisted stuff, and then you just have normal South America and normal India there. <laughs> it's, it's just a Japan, North America thing. Pokemon <laughs> don't exist anywhere else. A very yeah. tough... A very tired waitress puts on a plastic smile when she sees us. Uh. Oh, welcome to Historic Diner Mirror's Table for Two. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Actually, we just need to ask the manager something. The waitress rolls her eyes and skulks off. Good shit, gotta go find the manager, goddammit. There it is with a smile, huh? Working in the industry grates on you. This is a historical place, though, isn't it? Wouldn't they have, like, higher standards for... Uh, Who wants the Italian T-Rex? Hey. I, I, can, I, I can do it. Do you want it, Hinkle? <laughs> Go ahead. You, do need more, you do need more male voices. I don't do I don't do accents. How much of an accent are we talking here? Uh, I think I could do an Italian accent. Right. Hey, do 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 Fang's skin goes several shades lighter. I haven't seen you since August. How are you doing, my little babina? Come here and give Uncle Mo a hug. Adult. <laughs> An older T-Rex hobbles his way to us with his arms spread wide. I have a tiny arms. I'm not sure how well this hug was thought through. Well, as wide as he could, at least. <laughs> you yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Fake squawks in protest as she's pressed into his apron-covered belly. <laughs> squawks. Uh, uh, Uncle Mo, what are you doing here? I'm on the working, toots! 
This is my restaurant. Yeah, Dino Moe's. I'm a Mo from the Dino Moe's. Hold up. Your uncle is Moe? Moe as in the Moe that started Dino Moe's? Hey, he's the quick one. No, no, I mean, I don't know. Is he? <laughs> my baby girl hasn't just swung by in an ages. The art book oh, had... Oh, me such a happy a T-Rex. The art book had two sketches for the waitress. I'm gonna have to check that again. I don't recall seeing a waitress. Oh, the hood be this a lucky guy. Don't tell me you got yourself hitched already, my little Lucy. I feel my own skin warm up now. The old T-Rex laughs louder and slaps his rotund belly. Ha <laughs> relax the kids. I'm just messing with you. Come on, I'll give you the best seats on in the house. I mean, it looks, it looks like his hands are reaching enough. Maybe side slap it. Ha <laughs> slap him a belly. <laughs> Mo wraps an arm around each of our shoulders and drags us through the restaurant to a cozy yet dark booth sequestered away from the rest. We're shoved into the seats, and the owner slash uncle bends over the table to light the sole candle there. Also, this sort of confirms crossbreeding happens because neither of her parents are a T-Rex. This is just sort of a, like a, my, you know, Could be just family, a family friend thing. is uncle thing. Could be a thing. They updated the art book for six. Ooh, gonna have to take a look at that later. New game six? I'm having a candlelit dinner with Fang now. The hell is happening? Oh, you two can wait right here while I make my little princess as a favor to pie. On me, of course. No, not the literally. Woohoo! <laughs> just imagine this is massive T Rex doing a little Mario <laughs> jump and the whole restaurant just shakes like an earthquake. Well, you saw the latest Mario game, he can turn into a T Rex. Yeah, true. Woohoo! Also released a desktop pet. That I did see and have used. Mo proceeds to saunter off, pushing through the double doors that probably led to the kitchen. I look over the candle to Fang. She looks like how I feel at the moment. Lost and confused. I have no idea what the fuck is happening. What just happened? I don't know. So... Oh, fuck. Come on, Nan. You can do this. You're a part of the team that kicked Reddit's ass in Claws of Duty Jurassic Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really your uncle? No, he's just a good family friend. Ah. Yeah, see, there you go. My dad goes bowling every Thursday with him. Sounds fun. You ever go along? I don't know how he does it with those arms, though. That seems like a big handicap. <laughs> Anyways, not, not anymore. He kicks. <laughs> All that sportsy stuff just doesn't appeal to me. Besides, I have school and band stuff to worry about. Fang can now watch Nostalgia Critics The Wall with you. <laughs> what, what an oddly specific but great thing to watch with Fang. Not to mention my dad's a bit of an asshole. The image of a golf club comes to mind. Yeah, don't say. Uh-huh. Whenever I'm listening to my music at night, he always yells through the door with audible bowel movements. What? Why? Oh, the about music. audible. About he's audible. Call, okay, I thought... Audible, he's... Bowel, no, she, yeah, he, he's calling my music audible bowel movements. <laughs> Honestly, do you blame him? Big oof. Thanks, Smirks. Maybe not. My dad isn't even really there most of the time. My dad isn't real. <laughs> I'm a piece of fiction. <laughs> but I do interact with him. It's just these huge orders about what to do with myself. You're going to camp. You're going to Brazil. You're going to some coastal town for half a year. Then again, that last one was more my fault. Sounds rough. What about your mom? What about her? Very standard mother. A bit naggy. 
She'd always try to dress me for school, so I'd look like the biggest dork ever. One time, she got me into a denim jacket and jeans combo. Nice. Double <laughs> denim disaster. <laughs> you got a denim shirt, too, and you're looking good. Are you wearing denim right now? <laughs> How'd you know? Wait a second. Another word, and you get hot wax on your face. I'm holding back my laughter behind my fist. And she'd always try to embarrass me in front of everyone. Don't all moms do that? Why don't you tell me, pirate princess? <laughs> you fucking did it. You know, hot wax really only hurts for the first few seconds. That cute look of surprise, though? Lasting for an eternity. Worth it. Actually, wax is a form of therapy. I could see it. Like it hot wax, like if you have like anky it's, joints, like especially if your hands is the easiest place to get it anyway, you just like dip your hand in hot wax and it apparently it, feels amazing. It, it's also used for something that isn't therapy that I can't <laughs> say in a Christian stream. <laughs> well, good thing we're not on a Christian stream. I mean... No, you saw we, we, Everyone prays to Raptor Jesus. I mean, we already mentioned the downloading the femdom stuff that got non into detention, so he's used to it. Read a word of that to anyone, and this candle is going to go up where the sun don't shine to, while it's still lit. I scraped the hardened wax on my forehead off with one hand. And again, knowing what you downloaded at the school, you'd probably like that. <laughs> all right, all right. Sheesh. Doug Walker in this universe is just those tiny dinosaurs from the beginning of Jurassic Park 2. <laughs> it's any with the nostalgia critic. I never watched his stuff. The only reference I have is the jokes that are made on stuff like Oni plays. So I just have this he's, really warped view of what this guy's content actually is. He's 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 that kind of cringeworthy content that's still just entertaining enough to be worth watching, in my opinion. Oh, like, wait, there, what are we talking about? Uh, nostalgia critic. I find you know oh. a lot of it's pretty cringy, but it is also yeah, I hate entertaining. Him. I think it's I I think he's a little entertaining. Just like I said, there's a lot of cringe to Nostalgia Critic. I mean, he's been around since, like, the early days of the internet, right? So I feel like cringe is just going to be part of the package. Yeah, well, but I mean, he was, put the word he Nostalgia in a title, I'm going to hate it. Wait, what? I said, you put the word Nostalgia in a title, and I'm going to hate it. Okay, next game. Snoop Game Stream 3 Nostalgia Bait. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Sheesh. Goes what? to the eye next. A compy? What, what, what do you mean by that? But what about... Uh, is it dying for? I don't know. Just saying a compy. I don't... Do we say compy? The small like, dinosaur? Like strong... Like strong bad? Like strong bad's compy? What? No, he threw out the compy a long time ago. He's got a lappy now. <laughs> but what about your mom? Or, but what about your mom? Is she, like, on heroin or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just... She's just always in her own little world. That's the short name for those dinosaurs. Oh! Okay. Did that name come up somewhere? No, he's talking about the, the tiny dinosaurs PB Pixel mentioned saying that Doug Walker would be in this world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're compies. They were in Jurassic uh, Park 2. Yeah. Compy is Compso Compsognathus. Ignatius. Comp yeah. Anyways. <laughs> no, she's just always in her own little world. Nothing is ever wrong. There's no flaws with anything. No concern is worth worrying about. Sounds great. Flaws are an imaginary construct. <laughs> ah. Sunshine and rainbows. Ah, uh, yeah. That can't be healthy. Uh, speak of, uh, uh, just for the stuff of worrying about things, I remember I was watching a science video uh, the other day of building a big space telescope that they're shooting up into space. And the guy was asking the head scientist behind it, he's like, so aren't you worried about, like, you know, this whole project and sending stuff up or any of that? 
And the guy who's like in his 70s or 80s or something, like they've been working on this project since the 80s. He's just like, no, I mean, if a problem comes up or if there's a concern, we just look at it, do it to the best of our ability. And if we can fix it, we fix it. If we don't, well, then we can't. Don't need to worry about it. Don't need to stress. And it's like, <laughs> huh, that's a really good way to look at things sometimes. A really nice approach to life. Perhaps not the best way to approach rocket science. Well, I mean, I, get, I could kind of see the point. Like, if you just, if something is just straight up, you, you can't do it. Well, well, I think, well, because one of the things he's questioning is because the telescope is basically... 18 hexagonal mirrors that have to be folded to fit into the rocket to shoot up and then unfold to make the full singular mirror. So it was like, aren't you concerned about like if it breaks or if it shuffles? And it's just like, well, we just try to, pro we prepare for it the best we can. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then well, back to the drawing board. Yeah, I guess the point there is that no one's anticipating success on any given attempt because it is fucking rocket science. Yeah. So like, there's not pressure. Like, no, don't like, do, like oh. if you try, if you're gonna stress over these, you're gonna stress over literally everything. Yeah, it's like there's no pressure. It's just like, well, did you do it? No. All right, try again. <laughs> Take number <laughs> three hundred seventy-two. Yeah, that can't be healthy. I've made it do so far. Well, for what it's worth, you still got Trish, Reed, and Acer. <laughs> yeah, the one whose horn is more important than finding a place, my shitty baby brother, and Reed. Fang groans as she leans back in her seat. So she's not a fan of Trish? Well, I think she's just upset Trish was, didn't want to go to find a place for the concert. Oh, uh, she... Oh, 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 oh. Especially, especially when you consider Trish was all about, you know, making the poster and stuff yeah. earlier. You got a horn appointment, man. It should happen. New guy is the only one that I can rely on. My life sucks. Hmm. I don't know. We haven't found a venue and our show is in a week. How can the yeah. show be in a week if you don't have a venue? Yeah, fucking Naomi, fucking dad. Hmm. I feel like I should have the fang mark. On the flip side, we're getting some of your favorite pizza at one of the pricier Italian places around. For free, too. But the venue. We still have time. So, here. pizza first, and then we find a place for your show. Obviously, Moe's gonna let you do it here. Mamma mia, say a pizza! Mamma mia! Wait a minute, I could have just said that. <laughs> Somebody ordered a fucking pizza? <laughs> yeah, buddy! <laughs> you want a pizza, buddy? I would love if, if, if you just have a pizza restaurant, they just deliver like that. Someone ordered a, order a fucking pizza! pizza. <laughs> Mo slides a large pizza onto the table in front of us. There's a you're a fucking pizza, now the fuck on it! Just a look at the Italian recipe. A pizza with a, a pizza with an extra sausage, anchovy, pepperoni, and ham. Also known as the most original meteor pizza. Loose is a favorite. I get, get it. it. It's your. It's your. It's your. <laughs> I go by Fang now, actually. Whoa, whoa! The youth are getting up with me. How unreal! How, how unpredictable! You're trying to make an old mo confused, you punk. He gives Fang a light noogie. Ah. So, <laughs> what have you punks have been up to? You let a tornagina wearing a punks. Actually, Mr. Mo, we were gonna ask. Mister, you punk don't need to be so formal with me, you younger punk. Come here, you. Ah, oh, fuck oh. my head. I'm gonna eat your head. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you youngins, I hear you. I heard you need to talk about your parents. Oh man, here comes the lecture. You know, the best part of being a young is. I forget the voice I did. Ow, ew, this is the voice now. <laughs> we got a code K on line one. I think that was the voice you did before, too. Okay. Mo hangs his head in despair. Oh, that 
to the kids. It's got a pissed off a mother to deal with. Come on, Mia. Mo stomps away to the reception desk, leaving Fang, the pizza, and me. Hey, free food. Fang piles three slices on a plate, catching a few of the anchovies before they slide off. I think I'll only take one. I'd rather not get heartburn at 18. Pussy. Man, this place sure isn't historical for no reason. Sure isn't historical for no reason. It, what? What's wrong? There's... <laughs> It's it's uh, it is kind of worded weird. Uh, it's historical for a reason. Throwing me off. It's historical for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Even so. Wait. What? No, uh, but that's really. I mean, technically, yeah, you could you could cross out the negatives that way to make it one positive. But saying it's his it isn't historical for no reason really isn't the same thing as saying it is historical for a reason. Eh, whatever, he's a young punk, he don't know how to speak. <laughs> Even something as ridiculous as this tastes phenomenal. Good thing it's free. I'd be willing to pay a premium for this stuff. Kicks Comet's Pizza's ass any day of the week. It really hooks you in, don't it? It's got anchovies on it, I'm sorry. I've never had anchovies. I think I had them once. I can't remember what I thought of them, though. People say it adds a nice saltiness to pizza, which, given that, I can actually understand liking it. But it's also a whole fish on a pizza. I mean, maybe paired with the with the pineapple and ham would work. Cause pineapple's a little sweet. Gives a balance mm -hmm. out. That's an interesting idea. Oh, I didn't realize it was in my own world for a bit. Uh, yeah. It's real good. Huh, she's already down two slices. Hey, I have to limit myself around the good stuff. Why? Fang picks up her last slice, tosses it upwards, and snaps it out of the air with one bite. Whoa. Cool trick. Do you do parties? Well, she raises her middle finger at the remark. The grin on Fang's face says it's more out of humor than malice. You gonna finish that? I look at my half-eaten slice. I guard my hoard with an arm bulwark. Mine. <laughs> I didn't want it anyways. Mine. <laughs> I'm quick to finish off my slice to keep it to myself while Fang goes for her third helping. The pizza doesn't last, sadly, as we continue to take slices. Its life is ended in a matter of minutes, but otherwise I would have committed pasticide in an hour. By the end, I'm satisfied enjoying the feeling of the itis. Uh, uh, Uncle Mo just knows how to make it. Yeah, you know, when you eat too much food, when you eat all the good food, and now you gotta sleep. Itis. Itis, it's the it's it's the feeling for the sensation. Yeah, there's a whole Boondocks episode on it. Huh? That's what they call the itis. Yeah, your uncle is pretty cool. Fang gets out of her seat, legs unsteady, as she fights off the need for a well-needed nap. I'll see you at the front. I've got a serious need for real this time. I snicker and nod. Sure, leave me to deal with your uncle. I force myself out of the booth and casually meander to the reception area. Mo is there, placing the receiver on the f desk's phone back. Hi, son. Are you enjoying the meal? Definitely. Feel like I'm a blackout at any second. Racist. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Oh, the young man who likes the pizza. Glad to make the date, men. Aha, uh -huh. oh, we are. Oh, the whole could have fooled me with that disaster you'd call the flirting. No, no <laughs> really. Fang's looking for a venue. Her band is playing a show for next week. Real 
suddenly now? Why haven't it, why not to have it to here then? I look around at the restaurant, trying to find any real place for the band to actually play. Oh, don't want the details, kid. Mo grins. Me and the this boys are probably the most horrifying image in your life. <laughs> Me and the boys are used to making a room for shows. You leave it to your uncle Mo. I mean, yeah, you can already see him smiling right here, pretty jovially. I've got a lot of coins to pay them with. You just tell me little Alusa you got the place, and then I'll make sure to sweep her off her feet. You a younger punk you? Uh, or what, I, uh, huh? A non-EXE has failed. You got the work of your game, a young man. Ah, to be young and to love. Mom, me. Listen here, Anon. I said get the yellow more, the secret to love. It's not to share the misery. You can complain about disorderly details in life. But that should not fix your problems. However, it's time to be trying to do everything for an idler. Otherwise, she'll just expect you to fix all of her problems for you. For her. Expect to fix all of her problems for her. The secret is the support. Support? Secret ingredient to support the pizza. I, you've got to be her support. You've got to be the thing of what she has leaned on. She has to fix her own problems, but you've got to be there to back her up on them. And from what I hear from my boy Nasa, you've already done that. I suppose I have, like, at her band practice, or on the roof. Like now! Ha 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 Bada boom! Back to work, Jerry! You worthless a piece of shit! How many times have I told you not to make a do things while trying to mess with the customers? Ah. Anyways! <laughs> good to hear, Anon! It'll be good to use either his or right after all! Uh, thanks, Mo! Hi, any time! I've been hanging around with these fools for too long. I just can't ignore the kitchen anymore, you know? Give a little Lucy my regards, eh? Sure. Oh, saunters back to the kitchen. Now that I think about it, how does he cook with those little arms? That's what I was saying. How do you toss the fucking pizza? I look a bit closer. There's several toy claws hanging on a rack just inside the kitchen door. There you go. Whoa. Somehow, I don't think that was something I was supposed to see. Alright, I'm back. Let's hit the road. Smack it as hard as you can. Maybe we'll find somewhere to play before sundown. Actually, we really don't. Fang freezes in place. Your uncle. You... You asked Uncle Mo if my band could play? Yeah, he seemed pretty excited about it. He's got stage ready and everything. Fang still isn't moving. Did I do something wrong? It's a blur of motion. Oh, uh, see, how can you not think she's the best? Look, you get wing hugs. I mean, that's adorable. I, I mean, I do like various kinds of hugs, and she is the best hugger. She has the best hugging potential here. God, that feel when you'll never get wing hugs. Deal, bro. <laughs> One sec. I still want raccoon or squirrel tail hugs. What about raccoon, squirrel, tail, and wing hugs? I said doesn't... What if you could, though? Okay. <laughs> One second, Fang looks like she's going to start hyperventilating. Next, it's like I'm wrapped in a blanket of down feathers. Being shaken from side to side. With a tinnitus-inducing scream right in my ear. Ah! 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 It's 
so infectious. I know it is adorable. It's probably one of the best feelings you could ever see or imagine. Yeah. My arms reflectively support her, wrapping around below her wings. Fang's arms are wrapped around my shoulder as she clings to me. I mean, like, look at that. That's a full body wrap you got going there. It's also interesting to me that his hands can go through the wings. Like, I wasn't sure if the yeah, way the work. Others. I mean, you've seen wing bones. Yeah, I, thought there was like, I thought there was like a membrane behind it. No, like, no they're not. Yeah, like, She's not bad. You see chicken wings. This is fucking meat. Fair like, enough. The, on the bone part, and then. No, now, now that I'm seeing it, makes it makes sense. But I thought like a, a pterodactyl, like the wing had membranes. So I thought like the. Uh, wing well, it's a ter- well. Okay, actually, that's but, a fair point. Well, but, <laughs> she's got very long feathers, so there's probably spots she can poke through. Also, if you if you didn't notice uh, when we were at their house, you know, Fang and her mom had feathered wings, but yeah. Nacer and the dad had more kind i guess traditional looking pterodactyl wings it is very cute fang's arm are wrapped around me uh, around my shoulders as she clings to me i feel something warm soft and somewhat moist press against my cheek we got a venue we got a venue we got a all movement stops and reality resumes Fang's wings withdraw from around us. She pulls away until only her hands are on my shoulders. My hands are now at her sides, and I can feel her warm scales on my palms. Oh. Wow. I, uh... Huh. Ah, Jesus. It's the sound of clapping that causes us to jump apart, faces bright red and breath rapid. Back at the kitchen door is Mo, clapping loudly with his minuscule arms. How? How? Ah, you get them, my boy! You wish you could post Gosling memes on here. Uh, if only Twitch or uh, YouTube had emotes. Do they? I don't know. Uh, I suppose we, uh... Um... Call... Nazer? Yeah, and tell him right. Totally. But Verm Drama's got a venue. Fang smiles softly and nods. Good thing Naomi put Nazer's number in my phone. Even though I didn't ask for it. The tone rings twice. Also, wait, why didn't she get my phone? Yeah. I said yeah. It does actually, but it's a subscriber feature. So, uh, also, hey Zen. Thanks for stopping in. Hey Nazer. We need to like stop very. Is this the end of this coming up? Because uh, yeah, this the this pizzeria scene's almost over. Wait. Hold on, I'll put you on speaker. Go ahead. Mission accomplished. We got a venue set up. Oh, they did? That's great! Yeah, we're at Dynamo's, Pe- Dynamo's place in Little Trudon. Ah, cool. You were here earlier, just went unnoticed. Huh. I will have noticed that fire avatar, though. I'll bring the NASCAR over in a jiffy. NASCAR. I'm going to punch him. You sure you don't want us to get you now? Why, why punch him? No, you have business out of the way. You oh, you Na- Na- Nas- Naser NASCAR. Yeah. Somebody post a slow poke. See, that's that's what confuses me on because on my playthrough before I could. It's like, was it is it pronounced Nasser Naser? Because of that pun, it's like, wait, just throwing me off. How is his, what is his name? I guess it's Nazar. No, this is out of the way. You and Fang can go do something fun. Like, really fun. Hmm. You know, it may not be such a bad idea. 
even its idea from the Orchid Oppressor. Good lord, I'm never gonna be able to play golf again. I'll pass. It's getting pretty dark. Alright, stay put. We'll be there soon. Uh, isn't Fang the older sister? Fang is the older sister. Weird yeah. that she can't get a ride herself. Well, I mean, she doesn't have a car. What? Okay. Because only only one person can have the NAS car, and that's Nasser. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll be there soon. I already said oh. it. Alright. Fuck it, idiot. See you. All that's left is to wait a few minutes for the ride to get here. I mean, if you want, we could stop here since it was leaving and gonna be transitioning. Yeah, that's good. That's good spot to stop. Yeah. I'll have to shower and stuff before I go to bed. So I'm late. Mm. It's your fault. Okay, I'll take that blame. Now the question. So so far now with this chunk gone. What are you guys thinking? How are you feeling about uh, the game? I definitely am liking Fang a lot more. I think she's still rough around the edges, but it's definitely still like uh, sympathizable. And I think like the conversation in particular kind of explained a lot. Like I gave a lot of my armchair philosophy earlier, uh, right after that scene. But I do think that she's uh, coming around on me. Rish uh, and Ree didn't really get so much time to shine in this episode. So it's yeah, I missed Rish. Also, of course, she's rough around the edges. Have you seen her elbows? Uh, Whoa. No, but uh, yeah, those are those would also be feathers still. I, yeah, I still get the feeling that Trish is uh, maybe a little code. I don't think Trish is going to take to this very well. I think she's going to be very, very defending of well of Fang after this. After she finds I don't out think that she's, I don't think she's just going to be defending of Fang. I think she's going to be defending of her potential relationship with Fang. I think and, she, she's going to be jealous. Uh, as far as uh, as far as Naomi and Nazer, Nazer is still a bro. I I really liked her parents. I really liked the introduction to Fang's family. I kind of get the idea of at least from her father's side of things, things might be a little harsh. I, uh, if that was the twist to Naomi, like the evil scheme Naomi had was introducing uh, Fang and Anon together, like, and that's as far as her treachery goes. I don't think there's a bad bone in Naomi's body. Because I'm starting to think there might have been something hidden earlier, but the way that reveal was played up, the music tensing up, if that is the worst thing Naomi has done so far, then she's probably in the clear. So I'm not, I am betting there isn't anything darker to Naomi. She's just sort of, she's just a little autistic about having control over people's lives, I guess. But she's like, she's just actively trying to help two people who didn't have friends to make more friends. Yeah. So. Agreed. I, 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 I'm guessing there's no more dark twists to Naomi, so there might well, be still we'll something for Trish. I, I still am questioning, but I mean, I still like her as of now. I, um, I mean, yeah, I. Fang's a great character. I like her as a character. I'm just not in love with her as a person like you are. <laughs> Man, you, you'll, you'll, you'll come around. Possibly. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, she's there. I, yeah, I, I definitely. It's just it's the waifu factor. Not. I think very few people share a waifu with other with other people in general. He's a very good character. I can definitely see why she's waifuable. I. I mean, I already have like enough waifus. I. I. I, I feel like I don't need to steal one of yours to add to it. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you better I, not. The story in general is just very well written. It is. It's a fantastic story. Yeah, like, it's know, also, I, it's also, it has a lot of interesting takes on personalities I don't normally have perspective on, so I think the writing is being able to do well with juggling all these different uh, dynamics, these outlooks from each character, and making them yeah. in a way that feels realistic. Yeah, it's the way they, like, inter, like all the different lessons from these characters mixed together is very interesting. And also, like, I think Anon is himself. I just really like all of his inner monologue. I think he has a lot of funny thoughts that I can definitely share in having experienced a lot of these before. I really like, like I said, I really like meeting Fang's family scene. I thought that was just a really fun scene. Yeah, like the scene where I, I realized, like, wow, this is just a well-written story. Good job, person who made this game but they almost by himself. Like, was just like, when, I'm, when I was complaining, like, there goes Naomi taking control again. And I'm just like, I'm viscerally responding to this story. So, good job. Yeah, I mean, 
one of the things that made me like the game a lot is just how emotionally impactful it was at points. Kind of like that. But also, again, fuck Smoke It. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other question, though, after this is when will the next stream be? Because there's no real good night off aside from doing it again in the earlier afternoon next Saturday because Toonami was back to normal schedule next week. Uh, well, if we do, if we, if we can, and also if we can, if we could wait one more uh, week, Phoenix should definitely be done uh, next week, and then we could do it the week after Phoenix. I mean, why did we choose Friday originally? Because uh, we did, we didn't. It was just X Squad canceled. Could, and could we, oh, Friday, right. You, you usually have a game that day, right? Yeah. It was. I think it was originally planned for Saturday. Yeah, it was originally it planned for Saturday, and then when I heard X Squad was gonna possibly be off. I'm like. I would see. I was that. I started asking, like, "Oh, so it's off, right?" But then I forgot to ever say, "You guys want to play Friday?" All right. Got, well, um, I mean, I can do any time that I'm not playing something else. I mean, so. yeah. I, I, are you sure, Shima? Though with Wednesday with uh, AC. Uh oh, you mean uh? For Phoenix. That means the only the only question is that like no, I've already got. No, Castro. I'll, I'll no, check I mean, in on it, but I'll, I'll check in on it. But we already agreed to, you know, offer a slight delay on my character's reintroduction. Uh, I mean, then again, I think the the rotate schedule probably only gives uh, that one or two weeks. I think still. I mean, apparently, you know, the only question is: is there a lot more to? I, I like the reason I brought up doing it the Wednesday after we finished Phoenix Wright is that I assumed there wouldn't be much more than one more stream's worth of stories. Uh, go going off of my playthrough. I would say there's probably two more streams. Two more streams? Uh, we'll, you know, I think we'll figure it out. Probably three, because there's bonus content. The, the bonus chapters they added new to this. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just work things out as we go along. Yeah. So, probably, assuming nothing else changes, the next stream will be in a week and a half. Okay. All right. So, all right. Good so, wait, are we doing Phoenix Wright on Wednesday? Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna finish Phoenix Wright because that's got just you know yeah. we're we're almost at the tail end of that. Minutes. So yeah, Phoenix. Like minutes. Yeah. I don't know what what the plan is for the rest of that stream, but I mean, I was thinking we could try out the Yog. A what? It's what Monster Prom and Camp were based off of. Oh, interesting. Because I figured not to leave Seth without a game. So yeah, okay. uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for sticking around and hopping in and watching. Like I said, uh, Snoot stream will continue a week and a half. Assuming nothing opens up, you can subscribe to get alerts if it does. Or you can go subscribe, go look at and follow my, at my Twitch where I do more of my streaming content. Because Snoot is a oh, YouTube exclusive. So yeah, aside from that, uh, just you, I mean, you're already at the page to know where all my stuff is. Have a good night. Wait. Is it? it is now Halloween too on the East Coast? So happy Halloween right on the mark. Right now. Yes. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Go out and trick or treat right now. Halloween get yourself your open. candy. If you have relatives who live in ha Halloween Town, get go visit them now quickly. Go, <laughs> go and get your candy. Go get some eggs. Go get some toilet paper. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying go get them so I'm not liable. All right. Good night. Have a good weekend. Have a good Halloween. And Bye. see ya.